All right, guys, welcome back once again. We are here for your pleasure uh, here on King of Nordic with Rainbow Six Siege. It's a it's a second season, yeah, and uh, we have a lot to look forward to. Uh, a lot of great teams, obviously. Last uh, last season, we did have uh, a one hell of a. I kind of I kind of feel like it was one hell of a one sided playoffs. Yeah, like the teams were the teams that were in it, like they were. There were two, one team was really, really good. Monteon Gaming, of course. The Finnish team, if you didn't watch the last week's uh, games. And uh, yeah, it was it was an interesting thing to see. And definitely, I mean, the Folly Swedes, the one who uh, actually went on to win the whole playoffs, um, they were also very talented. But what we do here, basically, guys, is uh, with King of Nordic, we would like to give you guys a platform. We'd like to live stream your games. We would like to make sure that you get highlighted as a player and as a team, obviously, here in Rainbow Six. Because I, one thing that is for sure, for me at least, is that I really believe in Rainbow Six. Like, it, it's, it's one hell of a game, all tactical strategy. I mean, it's mind games, it's literally everything. Like, when. I, I I totally agree with you because I in the beginning I was not a believer, mm. but now I believe in Rainbow Six. In the start, I, when I first heard about the game, I was like, "This is way too much. This is never gonna be too competitive." Like, because it's so many stuff. Like, if you get into the game for the first time, you're like, "Okay." If you look every, if you look at every single weapon on the table, mm. the table would be so long, and you would be like, "Okay." Yeah. I don't understand. Sh sh shit. Sh shit. Oh, Literally oh. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, but then I started to like started to see everything and then started to learn and i was like this is actually a cool really game so this is really a good platform for you guys to come in that is not professional but want to become professional and get into it yeah exactly i mean uh, the, the, you need to play it to really start getting an idea i'm <coughs> just want to give you guys information i'm quite sick and i have a bad cough as well so hopefully you guys uh will bear with me so to speak my name though is yes creative Sandal. there was a little bit of a name sign came uh, come up it came up here there we go and obviously gustav krumval krumval is with me and uh Only krumval huh krumval krumval yeah. Um, but not only that, but we do have a great support with this uh, Rainbow Six tournament as well. Yeah, and we have some. That's our sponsors for this uh, whole thing, and that's we have Samsung, HyperX, and Ubisoft themselves. They are making the game, which is really mm -hmm. nice to have a like they're pushing it forward and saying, "Okay, guys, we do enjoy how you do the King of Norway and pushing forward." semi-professional so we're gonna help you out yeah i don't i'm not really sure if there's a lot of tournaments in the nordic overall <coughs> sorry once again uh I, i'm not sure if there's a lot of tournaments in the nordic so that's why we are here for you guys to make sure that you have a place to play on you have a qualifier you have a play if, if you want to but one thing that i would like to show you guys is the bracket and how everything works from the start to finish to the playoff final so here we go with the first it's national qualifiers right so we have sweden finland denmark and norway all having one qualifier for themselves which leads on to this what we have right here which is the game and the live stream this is what we do with the nordic qualifiers so uh we do have uh, i'm not sure if we do have an example for this but we are gonna see on later on as well but uh here you can see sweden versus denmark for example finland versus norway and then we play on with the bracket until we have two winners the high seed winner and the lower seed winner as you can see here this is how it kind of looks like in the playoffs so we have two teams from four qualifiers going forward so we have in total eight teams to the playoffs if we go on to the next screen the one thing that uh, uh, goes on later on for that is that the national qualifiers is um, uh, oh my god I got we we found so this is like you have been you have been telling them guys how it works so here we go once more next week we have another national qualifiers and then we go on to the Nordic qualifiers where they will face off and becoming a higher and low seed as he had been talking about and then we're going in to the bracket this is the bigger picture guys so you have seen we're on the left side all the way to the left we have the first Nordic qualifier the national qualifier we have we've seen last week and now we're on the second one so it's a big picture for you guys so you guys can and see was, what is happening and last week it was uh, Morion Gaming and Egdal Esports yeah that yeah, one, yeah. So that's nice. Yeah. So now we are in the qualifier number dos, two, dos. two, kaksi. Uh, 
<coughs> so uh, this is what we're gonna do for you guys. And one thing that I would like to mention for uh, for all of you out there is uh, is uh, the Twitter. All you need to do is just use hashtag King of Nordic. Send in some tweets. What do you believe? Who is going to take it on tonight? Are we going to see another Finnish team? Are we going to see another Dan uh, Dan uh, Danish team? Or are we going to see Sweden, perhaps Norway, stepping up, taking uh, grabbing one of those playoff spots? Make sure to tweet us in the hashtag King of Nordic. Yeah, because they need some love, so to speak. But we do have some highlights from the last week. So we're going to jump into that and you're going to see, show you guys what happened with some nice plays. <laughs> I mean, I, I would say this is a pro and con, because if you open out, here we go. Yeah, exactly, that's, I was getting to that. Thank you very much for showing me what you wanted to do, Stiggy. As soon as you open up to four, you kind of reveal potential positions of where you're going to sit, because I've opened this angle for a reason. I'm not, I'm not trying to take care of that, right? So Stiggy will be able to just like check all of these holes, see if there's a player picking there or not, and if he's the one catching them up first, he will be able to pick them up very quickly. Opening up the floor here for some unseen angles, opening up in showers to make sure that his team pushing in on A here now will be safe when they're trying to breach, breach that wall, and indeed they are. Now it's the smoke and good smoke. Zero again, he's just winning all of these aim battles. That is so... Oh, now IQS spot up here. Oh, the bridge is coming in together with the lion, and now they're all trying to run to side. It will be Nick and Finn up together with this. And then he's... And then he's going for it. Going for the plan, staring out the mirror of their position. Also the reason. Here we go, Gally taking one, Gally one taking one. Asario with another Gally. Oh, very close, but he gets the last one. Asario picks up Triv on the diffuser. Now it's all up for the Danish team in order to get the diffusion. They have a lot of time. Asario though, with almost no HP. Because they're dropping Oh, but this though will be so key. Oh my god, this now gets the push. Oh, that is so important because now the lion is done. Own here onto Oscar Mosca and Sampa at the same time. So it's all up to Sticky Trent on the side and also Nick coming up with his own onto Danso. Now it's Levin picking up one, picking up two here when they're pushing into CCTV area. Now it's all up to Lion trying to pick up this. And there we go, the drone is hitting, but Slevin is an absolute beast. The void of Ridge, so you need to move away from there. You can see that uh, Lion is getting in front of the top move, they know where they are. We're gonna be throwing in the nail here now. Into the showers, trying to get killed. Oh, he gets it onto Danso. It's five against four right now. I don't have too much of a case angle for the Kings team. Oh, and Oscar Levin almost gets called out. I've already been able to dodge. Oscar Levin out, coming with a support and picking up the first device. It's so nice. Levin there with the fire support as well, but Asian gets sample. Now it's Oscar Mosca taking down one from the from the third one tries to drop down, but Oscar Mosca gets him as well. And that's the round over for Modion Gaming. That is match point. It's going to be very interesting to see where you opt to put this flame. Oh, pushing in quick to versus the smoke. This is going to be very interesting to see how it happens. There we go. Yelly with the with the melee here. And now it's going for the retake. Naughty here. Caught out. Half HP. Nick and Yumeda taking down one kill. Ace and Woody Candelas owning the side. And there we go. Nick and picking out another one. Naughty when they're trying to cross. Now backed up by the smoke. But the smoke is smoking them. Oh, however, Yelly. No fear. Jumping into the point. Going for both of them. Getting down though. Together with Hippo and Jinx. We also see Naughty though, falling down to the entire or Naughty now, trying to push onto the side. Will he be able to pick up Yelly? He will be able to pick up Yelly here. I don't think, I don't, I don't think Kapal has more hurt. Gets picked up, and then we only have the mana left. He gets picked up as well, and there the round goes to Egedal. That win, that round is 6-5 in the rounds. Congratulations to Egedal, they did pretty well. Did play very well, and we see that in the MVP. Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, for you guys that's wondering like, can I join this tournament? Yes, you can. And how to join this tournament is that we have some different sites that you can use. But if you're from Norway, you can join to gamer.no or if you're from Finland, Sweden, Denmark, you can go to tournament.com. And don't forget to go into the Rainbow Six Siege tab there and search for King of Nordic and you will find it. But there will be three tournaments, so don't One forget. One for each national. Yeah. yeah, for each for each, each country, country, like. Yeah. So, guys, don't forget to choose the right for you, so you can join and have some fun. It is open for everyone, so everyone can join. You guys can have everyone can have fun. Like, even though you're not a pro, you want to have a nice night with your friends and like have fun. Join it, have fun. 
Yeah. And uh, I wasn't here last week. Did you see what just happened when when I tried to flip this one over? It just gets completely stuck. Yeah, thank you. Uh, last week, I wasn't here because I was sick. Obviously, I'm still a little bit sick. But this time, Kumwal wants to uh, bear with me at least. Uh, he's not going to get sick from me this time. Um, but last week, I wasn't here. So one thing that I would like to start off, if you give me the pleasure of doing it, I would like to start a raffle right now. Is that okay? Yes. It's, it's okay? okay? It's okay. It's okay? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. let's uh, ra uh, raffle oh. out uh, 600 Rainbow Six Siege credits for you guys in the Twitch chat. All you need to do is type exclamation mark raffle and you're entered in the chat and can you say rainbow six siege credits really fast rainbow six siege credits fast no but it's like can you say 600 rainbow six siege credits 600 rainbow six siege credits oh that was not fast we were not doing it 600 rainbow six siege track ah. yeah, 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 yeah. do it you. you you do it 600 rainbow six siege credits <laughs> <laughs> but on our Facebook page, ladies and gentlemen, we do have another competition for you guys. And hopefully this time we do have some graphics coming up on the screen in 3, 2, 1, and flash. Bam! Okay, it comes soon enough. It's, a it's not Hogwarts, guys. It's not Hogwarts. But we do have a live poll on our Facebook page where you can guess who is going to win for tonight. And uh, what you can win there is Ooh. that you can win 600 Rainbow Six Siege credits and a HyperX Fury XL gaming mouse pad. So all you need to do is jump into that live poll. You can react to which team you think is going to take it home for tonight and move on to the playoffs. But it's only for the highest seed. Yeah, and guys, if you want, like, I'm not professional or anything, but if you want a really, really, really good tip, uh, I would believe in going for the Switch for this tournament. Because that's going to be my high prediction for tonight. It's going to be the Switch because they won the first uh King of Nordic. So I, I know where you're going at with this because their team name, team name is something that you came up with. Congratulations! I thought it was going to be a little bit mystic, but yeah, Best sure. Team. Congratulations <laughs> is the name of the Swedish team, so that yeah. is a little bit of a pun for for this guy. <coughs> we have we have a love connection, me and the Swedes. So, but we are going to bring up the brackets for you guys, so we can take a look at what is going on for just uh, this episode, at least of king of nordic rainbow six siege cup so what we have first is the team sweden called congratulations and the finnish team is called save kd gaming which is a very cool name actually creative <laughs> okay uh but congratulations and save kd gaming is gonna be the first games that we are gonna take a look at obviously it's sweden versus finland next day next teams though is team cosmos versus endurance gaming <laughs> i thought you were gonna go with the congratulations style of it uh, oh anyway <laughs> denmark versus norway is gonna be the second game obviously the winners is gonna move on to the upper bracket the losers is gonna go move down to the lower semi and we're not going to stream the lower semi, so hopefully your team that you are rooting for is going to move on to the upper final and play the next game. Um, uh, so, so don't forget, guys, hashtag King of Nordic if you want to send some love and some energy for your team. <coughs> Can't say too much, because don't forget that, that if you send love to them, they will see it afterwards, and they will see you're rooting for them, and that might bring them onto it and like go forward and then like their self-esteem goes up and you know and if they, they will lose. be walking down the street like pretty woman yeah <laughs> all right well walking yeah, down the street but if they lose they will have uh, and take a look at the bot for example they will have the love to try to enter for the qualifier again so make sure to do that yeah i yeah. actually agree with come for once um <laughs> but yeah let's take a look at the rosters sweden versus finland is going to be the first game and obviously team sweden called Congratulations, esports. <laughs> that was so no. It's sweet. Okay, guys, guys, guys. Traco, Vitaline, Sports, Milan, and L18. Make sure to remove remove that esports. Just, just use congratulations. That was a lot better. But <laughs> yes, I, I did mention all the names for the Swedish guys right here. Is Traco, Vitaline, Spoit, Milan, and L18. I'm, I'm, I'm Leighton. Is that the name? Leighton. That that kind of feels cool though. L Leighton, yeah, it could be. Leighton? I'm watching. I'm watching the melon because I don't know if it's Swedish, like, like melon, melon, or me I, men I, menlon. But isn't the number one supposed to be an I? So melon, it could melon? Be melon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, uh, anyway, I, I, if you guys know hashtag King of Nordic, because we would like to do it perfectly. But at yeah. this point, we do know that these sort of players 
The, we do have Traco, Vidaline, and Spoit coming in from uh, the winners last season. Come it was together with Folly. Oh, it yeah. was together with Folly. Yep. Uh, this time, though, Folly is not going to be playing. No. Uh, so what, what do you think that can, like, uh, actually uh, do to the team? Because uh, Folly was the only not Swede, actually. He was he was from a whole other country. Yeah, but I, I don't like. I don't believe it's going to be robbing them too much because they're all really good players. They have a high percent win rate. They're really good at the game, and I, 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 I think they will manage to get through this. Because if we like look at the stats over here, we can see. Uh, like it's amazing how they're gonna play it's gonna be interesting to see on how they're playing on the new meta this uh, season but they are facing off a finnish team and that is save kd gaming with jesus morientes harold nareosh kalefsva and mclovin this is kalefsva yeah Kalefsva, uh, yeah. so this is some names names we have been seeing before as well yeah, we do recognize Jesus, Mirandes, Harold, uh, and I do recognize McLovin. I'm not 100% sure if he played here before or if it was just uh, perhaps coming out. Yeah, he was playing. Did I hear in my ear? We do have a god with us. Oh, sorry. God? <laughs> it, was, it was a fake god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, Jesus, Mirandes, Harold, and McLovin. Yeah, there's uh, uh, coming back players. Uh, Nariosh and Kalesfa. It's not players that we've seen before. No. Uh, this is going to be... I don't remember how they were if they qualified for the playoffs. I think they were in the playoffs. Yeah, at least, yeah, I th I do believe that they were in the playoffs. But at this point, though, it kind of feels like when you have the qualifier, um, there is a couple of players that you recognize, obviously. Uh, but it's always interesting to see when they switch. For example, this time they switch two players. What is that gonna do to the team? It like it depends on how they're playing at least. Like, like. Everyone, like, if you switch, uh, sh uh, switch up uh, uh, attack player for defensive player, it's yep. going to switch it up. And maybe if you're if you're attacking one, and uh, and then you're like you're, de you're like you're attacking one, and the new player is attacking one, and yep. then you have to go defensively. It could change it up a lot. Like, uh, I mean, it, it could basically give you a whole new an idea about yeah. how you would like to play a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more defense. But this time, though, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to <coughs> we are going to jump in to the veto. Oh my god, this is actually tough. This was a challenge. This is a challenge, bro. Right. I, I can't join you. <coughs> well, all right. Uh, so as you can see, uh, for those of you new, new viewers out there, we do have a new UI, a new layout on the map bands. So this time, though, we are going to ban the map, and the first map that is going away is. Oregon. Save KG ban, yeah. They're gonna ban Oregon. Uh, I do know that we only saw it once last week. Yeah. So Border is kind of like a favorite at this point. Border and yeah, because like, oh, congratulations! I thought we have a thing together. Yes. And congratulations, is banning Bank. So that's gonna be the second ban, uh, which is. Um, but yeah, yeah, definitely. So at this point, Save KD is gonna go in for the ban, and they are going to take a look at Skyscraper, which is. Kind of feel like a common ban once again. We yeah. didn't really see it a lot last season either. So, I mean, it, it, it isn't really much to say about it. Um, but Sweden, banning Coastline. Coastline. Yeah, it's okay. Good ban in Sweden also as well. And then we have another ban coming in for the Finnish team. And they're banning off. Ooh, Border. This nice. Could get interesting. I, now, I right? do enjoy this. So now it's Council, Cafe, Charlotte, and Clubhouse. I, I believe so far. I, I Your think prediction fast. Clubhouse. So we'll see I would say Cafe. Ban. That would be fun. Oh, uh, shit. Function. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> Cafe is something that I go to every Saturday. All right, whatever. By yourself. Uh, Chalette getting banned <laughs> from Save KD. And we have only Clubhouse and Cuslet left. I think Clubhouse is going to be picked here because that's a map where I... There we go. Switch picking are going for Clubhouse as the last map. And that's what we're going to be seeing. And then uh, I'm wondering what who will start defense and attack. Yeah, and that is something that we are going to take a look at. at uh, 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 uh. Th I'm not 100% sure we're going to I think your right fake now. god, the production, <laughs> missed that. Yeah, perhaps yeah. we can get it in our ears. I, I, I think Sweden was the one choosing the map. That would leave Finland to start de uh, deciding uh, which side. Because uh, it was Sweden's yeah. last ban. So Sweden decided... 
Okay, Sweden so did choose. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. Because oh, okay, right. they last band and then get to choose. Yeah, that's right. No, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> congratu <laughs> congratulations. It's going to start on the attacking side here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so we do have Sweden on the blue side, on the left side of the screen, so to speak, in the, to in the top there. And we do have Finland on the defense on the right side, which is the orange. Let's... Uh, they want to re-host as well. So I'm... Um, 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 you know what? This is a perfect time for me. You know what I can do now? What can you do now? I can say production. I would like some water. <laughs> Son of a shit. That uh, was a nice try at least. Can I can I do as well? If I say, do do you think they would come with it? Because like you you that said that it, would be like you said they were good. fake gods. You were like some the number one rule of casting. You should never say anything to the production because you are behind the camera, like in front of the camera. You can't do anything. Like you can't reach them or anything because you're behind the camera. Like I, you can see me. I can't hit people because then I will get banned. Um, so they fired. So or fired. Yeah. So we can't really say too much. And I would like I call them not gods, but I call them a really nice, good gentlemen. Uh, could I get water, please? It's coming during the game. Anyway, oh, ladies and gentlemen, we do have the map Clubhouse. Once again, tell us a little bit about Clubhouse. Clubhouse, and uh, it, uh, it would be fun to hear your side of it because you were here casting last week and you saw that it was border in the first game, in the second game, in the third game, and in the final that was when he played Oregon. Now though, it's starting off with Clubhouse. Yeah, I do enjoy that they ban off border because we so, since we've seen a lot. Uh, Clubhouse oh, is. Uh, of bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Oh, I can oh. go grab myself for some water. Th 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 thank you, production. Oh, thank here, you. Here we go. This is a this is a brother. This is a brother. <laughs> <laughs> you should never tell the production crew do, to do something stupid. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, what I was saying. He has you. Red Bull. I can take that one. No. <laughs> I don't have Red hey, Bull. Hey, hey, bring in like one of the big ones. Uh, yeah, can we can, we, can we focus on the cast now? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, so Clubhouse, there's a I'm map. Uh, they have a basement which is called one like a free point win, where it's easier to defend. Like the high percentage of your succeeding with the defense in the basement is really really high. Mm. Uh, and the border, like, no, I mean the border border uh, Clubhouse. Mm. It is like a map like it's called Clubhouse because it's a biker hangout kind yeah. of thing. Uh, and I do enjoy when they're holding. Uh, by the jukebox and everything like that as well, holding by the window and everything down by but that the is, south. But that, uh, that so is actually a pretty that is actually a pretty big sort of point as well. Yeah. Which means that you have, as an attacking team, you can have a lot of ways to get in. You can attack from above if you would like to. You can attack from the windows. You can have some sort of strategy to try to get in. But at the same time, the defense can have so many ways to defend as well. Yeah, and there's. Uh, on the, the bottom defense is like almost always the usual things. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, and then if you go over <coughs> to the jukebox area, we they usually like split up and have it like one side of the room and the other side of the room and mm. then going for that kind of play. And I do enjoy that, like how they're doing it. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how they choose to do everything because I do enjoy when they switch it up. And we have a new meta. Uh, and when they were picking, when we saw they were picking, I think they're going to have to pick the same, since they want the rehost, I think they have to pick the same uh, players, or I didn't know if they saw it or not. I I, I think, uh, uh, whatever, yeah. we're going to jump in game at least, and I think they've already picked, so perhaps, no, they haven't really, no, no, they didn't have the time to see the, uh, the operator. Ah, okay, yet, yeah, yeah, so, 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 so. Uh, You so can see that can, Smoke is coming switch. in, but he's chosen back to Jaeger, but now it's the same as we saw last time. Uh, we have the attack and say, like, congratulations, picking Blackbird, which is really nice to see, going for an older kind of meta here. Uh, they're going with Buck, Ash, Thermite, and Twitch, and Twitch is going to be helping out here, moving uh, those mirror windows. And on the defendant side here, we can see that they're setting up down in the basement, like this is the free point win has been saying. They have a Legion, they have a Bandit, they have Jaeger. they have a Mira and a Pulse, uh, and the Pulse is going to be helping out a lot in the... Uh, bomb A site there. Uh, he's going to be helping out and trying. I think he's going to be standing in there, trying to see when they are pushing in there above and throwing that C4 and trying to get killed through the floor, which is going to be helping out a lot. And uh, now we can see that you're opening up and they want to get some routes where they can run past and being quicker on moving around the sites. Yep, and definitely here we go with Mira looking forward to uh, put up uh, those windows. And as we can see, they do have a Twitch on the opposite side, so obviously Twitch needs to be a little bit careful. But uh, yeah, it looks like they are going to come in from the uh, northeast side here. 
I think I saw someone going for the tunnel, which is going to be interesting seeing if they're going to be doing anything special. Oh, right. Lichen is standing here throwing out one of the nails. They have already opened up, so it's going to throw in drones and trying to see if they can get any information from that. Which is coming. And now they're seeing with the first one, there's another one drone coming in. We have Traker coming from the south. They're getting a lot of information because seeing like two or three people there as well. Yeah, and they're just right now scouting out, trying to figure out their position of the Finnish players. Because at this point, well, there is going to be a little bit of action immediately into the round. And, you know, if, if we take a look at this Milan, he is in a pretty pixel angle here, trying to just make sure that, okay, perhaps there is someone wanting to hold, hold the, the peak here or going for the peak. Oh, take a look at this. Oh, this is a perfect play. There we go with Milan finding the first one. Now, there is a second player just around the corner, but Lishin is not going to go in for that just yet. L18 or L18 has been finding at least one of them, but goes down right after that. And take a look at that beautiful play from Jesus. Yeah, Jesus isn't doing a lot of work here now. It's three on three, and they're going for the point. The bomb has been picked up again, so they can start moving down. And uh, we still have the Ash and the Soft Bridges left, and we have a Twitch. Uh, I don't think. Oh, you can see the peak going on in the fight there. And the Legion getting some small damage into the line there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we go with Vita Line trying to go in for the peak. It's not going to be able to get uh, connect the shots there, but Traco does that, which is forcing it down to a one on two all of a sudden. As it's Jesus Morientes has found his third kill of this round. Now it's all down to Spoit, and he is he has been performing well in the last season. So I think they're coming in with confidence at this point that they would like to uh, make sure to get this win as well and just move on into the next one. What is going on right there? We're taking a it little bit of damage here. Yeah, standing close to the bandit trap there. And he's pushing in there now, so he knows that he's planting. They know we can see each other. They go for the Jesus getting it. Jesus is actually clutching this really well, doing it amazingly, trying to see if he can find any traps. Uh, but that was amazing from him doing that defense because he got th at least four kills, might be yeah. five kills at least, uh, as well. I mean, uh, and that's amazing from first of him. Jesus did do it good. Can we get up? Can we get the can stats. We stats up so we can see if he did get off uh, ace or not? I think it was a 4K. I'm not 100% sure, but I guess we're going to say, yeah, 4K. Yeah, from 4K, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was amazing by him, but amazing play, uh, which is really uh, nice to see. I wonder if how they're going to be attacking now this, uh, the Finnish team. Are they going for more of a standard play? I can see what they're picking. Ah, okay, we have a Jing that's going to be supporting with uh, some flashes. We have the Hibana coming as a hot Oh, there's the Lion. I was I, I want to see the Lion because that's the new meta. Like, you were playing around Lion Hot. So this is going to be interesting. I'm seeing how they choose to play it as well. Um, mm. Perhaps is that is something you expect now as a defender that you are going to face off against the Lion. And, uh, now at this point, we are going to be on the first floor once again. Or not the first floor, perhaps. The, the underground. Or uh, what you would like to call it, the basement. But at this point, uh, the defense are setting up once again. And we are going to have uh, Milan going into the tunnel immediately. Just reinforcing. Just to make sure that, okay, they're not going to have an easy task going through here. But it doesn't really mind if they do. Because, well, usually you would like to at least take the map control, right? So, sp especially during the... Uh, um, uh, as the attacking team, you would like to get tunnel control. So, but... I'm guessing that that is just how it go, how it's gonna go down, basically. Yeah, I do love this defense on how the mirror is gonna be doing this. She's gonna, she, they're opening a wall where they can pass through and peek through. They're putting up the, both of the windows there, so you can have total control from just that area. And that's gonna be amazing to see. And they have a vigil that's already been killed as well. Uh, I think he was trying to go for a, a fast kill there as well. Uh, which is interesting of seeing and he gets picked off because he's the one that can counter kind of lying because he can put it off in his cloak and run around and he will not get like noticed by the drones when they are coming trying to see if he can be there they have a nice defense here now i think this can punish them because this is the first time i've been seeing people holding like this which i do like yeah and uh, one more thing that we recognize from the swedish players is the uh, the aggression you know that the Switch team, at least last season, was a little bit more aggressive than the uh, uh, than passive, so to speak. And at this point, they're doing a really good job trying to once again holding a little bit more defense. At this point, I, I'm not sure if they just 
I'm 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 a little bit more positive to them trying to just play it safe here in the beginning, trying to read how Finland is going to go in for the attack and for the next upcoming rounds when they're gonna play defense. Perhaps they're gonna have an ace up their sleeve. Well, yeah, they only have like the big main, like they have anchors down at the moment. Yeah, down by the side. And if you're looking at it, uh, at then how the players are playing and how they're doing it, um, we can see that their their like uh, roamer has been killed. That's the vigil when running around upstairs. So we have the smoking one going for the support. We can see a bandit trying to go for roam here, which is nice. They have gone for the lion scan, and he's kind of trying to go from the back, trying to get some pickups. And this can actually. This could get work. them pretty easily. The Hibana is sitting there in the corner. She's watching cameras. And they, oh, we're going to have a free kill. Oh, he's going to knife him. He's going for the knife. He's going close. Can he? Ah, he's going to go for it. Oh, he gets the knife. This is really nice. And then we have a kill at the bottom floor as well. The Hibana, well, there was a Mira going down. We had the Jaeger that doesn't have too much HP. Oh, and then counter kill as well. Two versus three now. And Bandit gets finally gets picked off. And it's going to be, going to be smoke left uh, versus the Buck, uh, Jing, and the Thermite. I think he can do some nice plays anyways. Now they're droning a lot, so they still have drones out, which is going to be hard for him to defend against. Yeah, we here we go, man. With Trico finding at least one of the first kills here. It's going to be two remaining of the Finnish players, and they're going to take it easy, but Trico finds the second one. Now it's coming down to a one-on-one -on -one with the smoke going down in front of the... Oh, this is actually a lot of smokes going down. Trico does have three remaining remote smoke green, uh, gas, literally. Uh, basically, and the diffuser is down as well, so he is in advantage right here with the smoke coming down there. That is going to give him a little bit more time, perhaps. It's going to get the diffuser, but it doesn't matter because smoke is going to walk around with three seconds left. Yep, there we go with the expectations. The Traco clutches it one on three. And that's amazing how Traco shows the player. They're really nice. One versus three. Did clutch it for the team, or would we get kick as we like as you say, clutch or kick? And he did actually clutch that. It was a really nice place by Crunchy. Congratulations and Traco and how he was doing it. Because he was moving around a lot. He was not waiting for the, the attacker to come to him. He did choose to run around and be doing a lot of sounds. And he needed to like follow him since he threw down the smoke. He can't just run through it and take too much damage. And now we have the Swedish going for the defense and they're actually picking up a lion here now uh, themselves and they're going for the bar now which i i think they're picking it right and we're going oh we're kicking a glass as well which is really interesting so now they're going to have the lion that when they have to stand still and we have a glass that can pick them off through the smokes we have the jing that's going to be supporting the glass as well so this is going to be really interesting to see i do enjoy what they have been picking here now for that de de defense team though we have a dock coming in we have an echo coming in and a vigil and the echo is i think he can do a lot of lot against the the lion here as well so that's that's going to be interesting to see how they choose to play it but i i do enjoy it like how they're switching off the defense and how they are playing with their lineup yeah, that's what we were talking about. We do have a lion. We do have a, a glass, and I kind of feel like the the uh, the um, one thing that is pretty cool using at this point is that you can have lion. Obviously, he doesn't find out the team, uh, the the information and the position about the player of the same players if, if they, they move. move. I know, I know. <laughs> and then everyone gets lined up, like everyone can see it. Exactly, so I think that could give an advantage to Glass as well, because he can use his smoke and can go in, he can try to go in for a peek or whatever you want to go for. Um, oh, this is very, I very... I think he can see his foot. Yeah, he yeah. sees... Oh, there's foot. Oh, that was oh, a pixel, was that was a pixel. Oh. It wasn't enough for our uh, Nariosh to be able to spot him. He does know that there is one player out there, uh, out there but at the same time, it's not going to be enough, and he is going to have to fall back a little bit here, playing as the dock. Uh, yep, they've given a little bit of information there. So Jesus Morientes is going to be able to go in for the peak here. Not only that, but he does have a little bit of a death attacking coming in from above. Uh, here we go. We finally, Traco and Leighton, or L18. I'm not 100% sure. Hashtag King of Nordic. How should I pronounce his name? You guys decide. And here we go with Kalesfa. Finding frags once again. Traco falling down. All of a sudden, it's a four on three. Still in favor for Sweden, though. And Lion is once again going to pull him off. And oh my god. That L18. Takes, that execute from everyone at the same time. Look at this. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> so amazing. I do enjoy it. Like they're, we can see that the Swedes since the first round now they're picking up the pace and going really hard at it. I didn't like the lion scan when she needed to stand. Like the lion scan, if they wouldn't have, an, if they didn't have the 
with Glassdoor would be really hard to see, but I did enjoy that. That was an amazing play by them. I, I, I kind of got a, a little hard on by that play when they were doing everything. Like, that run was perfect. For me. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the way that they executed it, that's how you would, how you would like to execute it. Uh, and I kind of feel like Finland wasn't really doing a bad thing at that point. They were just outplayed from Sweden, uh, t to be honest with you. I mean, they're, sure, there are probably some things they could have done better, but uh, I think that Sweden deserved that round, definitely. Yeah, and, and if you think about it, it was one like pixel of a foot away from the him attacking like getting him down and, then and getting the glass down and, yeah 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 that, that's amazing like how small uh something can be of you not getting it like like that like, that's so close yeah definitely how close it can be to get what you want and then we can see that they're going for the bar hold here now for the swedish team and uh, they have a valkyrie so hopefully she can put her cameras out uh, all on the map and Something that we're not going to be showing here because we got a lot of feedback from yeah, the community yeah. last time is that we can't show much where the, the Valkyrie cameras are because that's kind of a like trade secret for them. So they don't want us to show it like all the cameras but are that, But that's okay. I mean, uh, it's acceptable. I mean, you have your sort of tactics and oh, how you want to use the cameras and that's exactly how you want to do for it. Yeah, I got two fast kills here coming in for this Finnish team. Both the Vigil and Valkyrie gets picked off really fast. Yeah, and that is going to punish them definitely. And uh, Blackbeard has been uh, going down to low HP. Oh, third might, and he's gonna jump down, so he's gonna get brought up. That means that he has 50 HP. And um, another 100 HP, uh, 50 HP, sorry. I uh, and another one getting uh, picked up as well is the smoke, and that's the last defender that you want to recite. And he gets picked up. We only have a bandit and a echo left, and now they know where the bandit is. So it's going to be really hard for them to be able to get this out. We have an Echo though, and now the Lion stand ga scans come in, and you have to stand still. If you move, you die. I think you can move like a little bit. I, oh, I think, they saw yeah. him, and now the... No, oh, I haven't nice. really seen him just yet. My, Milan will be able to find that frag. I mean, once Lion has been executing his uh, sort of scream, or whatever you want to call it, that's you can move a little bit. You can just like pixel walk basically but you can't walk away if you do that that's when you get spotted yeah but so. he gets spotted he did get spotted okay uh, and there comes the kill in the last ones and that's the fourth round for you guys two versus two and the finnish team is going with some pressure here now i i, th I thought it was going to be really really fast for the like the, the, the swedish team like if you look at that, their stats to this uh, finnish team they have higher stats but uh, sometimes team play can prevail and that's what's happening at the moment which is not really I do enjoy seeing that coming straight out. And now we have the, the for the fifth round, the, the Finnish team coming in for the defense. They have Sig Pulse there, Mira, Bandit. They're going for the church and Arsenal once again in the basement. So, oh, we have a Jaeger and a Legion. They're going for the same setup as we saw the first coming in. And we can see that the attacking Swedish are going for the same once again. They, or now they have a Ibana, I think. Yeah, they have a Ibana now. So they're going to be able to open up a lot. Yeah, I think I think they had a like, Jing last time, if I'm not mistaken, the first run. Or did yeah, I, I think they did, yeah. So now they're switching up a bit because you want to have the, those range openings on those lockers. Because if they have a bandit standing underneath uh, while you're putting down your thermite charges, you can get punished so fast, honey. Yeah, and here we go with the setup phase. Only 15 seconds left before we're going once again to garden see an aggressive uh, Swedish team going aggressive, obviously. Um, Mira, the reading for us, the whole wall there. You're just gonna put up a window. This is all for information. Just to get that little bit of extra vision and perhaps a little bit of an advantage. And once again, I'm gonna put up a window this time, but this time it's gonna be towards the south side. So uh, they're going to have both of the sites covered a little bit at least. But is that going to be enough? Well, that is the question because at this point, Vitaline and his teammates looks confident enough to try to get in here. You've seen the drone to scout out. Yeah, and they're looking for someone to try and go for that uh, spawn peaks and they haven't seen nothing in one because that's because everyone is downstairs. And Draco's coming with the drone. Also, the one player is down there. I think he might be able to have been spotting me. I don't know. And we see all what it was that was playing against. We can see that was that Hibana tr throwing in some like a smoke or something, or was it the Ash? Man, ah, it was Ash getting some attention over there. They're putting up a C4, so he can't move around trying to go for the flank. 
which can now be punished by them if they want to go for a break there. Yeah, but at this point, I kind of feel like Finland is holding their positions. This is something that they've perhaps been practicing on or something that they would like to execute at this point. They're not going to go in for all of the full on aggressive, perhaps going in for the lurker role. Or, but uh, yeah, as we saw, pulls going down to less than half HP. He got, he got punished. And then we got the first kill comes into the mirror there. Uh, on second, the refrag comes in to, onto the ash. Uh, really fast back and forward and we can see that the bandit has opened up all the floors uh, in over the A site and they're trying to see if he can find anything here now McLovin is standing Oof. behind an uh, electrician thing yeah, that was a very close one I mean uh, the uh, attacker there oh this could be a very important frag here for Milan he would like to get this kill so he can start moving in. I mean, they do have a lot of time left, obviously, but you, there, there is a little bit of time that you need to have for the diffuser to go down, but you could get those extra seconds if you're lucky and if you're on the sites. And here we go. They're going in aggressive, and that is a perfect use. Um, oh, there we go. Harold finds the frag. The Thermite needs to move it away. Harold comes in with a second frag. Meal on those. Comes in at least with a trade frag. Forces it down to a two on three. The question is now how Buck and Blackbeard should play this because at this point, it could be dangerous, man. Yeah, throwing some nades down, kind of get, oh, get a counter kill from Blackbeard there on to the leash, I think it was, which is a nice click off. We have the Jaeger and the Bandit left here. And now they're going to go for the kills, get some damage inflicted, and that goes down. We only have the Bandit left here. It's two versus one. He jumps down back of them. Trying to see if he can get them when they hurt him. Go for it. He gets one kill. Gets doesn't get the dagger one. And the Swedish Traco gets the last one. Getting it over to three to two here for the Swedish. They're holding the lead. They're holding the command point, so to speak. Can the Finnish team come back here now in the sixth round? Or will they be get picked off as well? I kind of feel like there this is something that I would like to see, and this is something that we see a lot as well. The um the back and forth sort of play when you play defendants when you play attacking there is so much back and forth because you 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 do have that a little bit of advantage perhaps on this defense side and what you have on the attacking side um so that is very interesting once again perhaps this time we are going to see finland once again going aggressive perhaps forget, perhaps getting this round as well yeah and we're going for a bar we're going for arsenal here once again uh, as we saw our first round i wonder if sweden is going for that unusual play by opening it up in the middle and if you're looking at the stats here now, the Swedish have we have three players. Spoit and Vitline hasn't been stepping up. The both have Vitline and Spoit has one kill, and Vitline doesn't have anything. So those guys need to step up and help the team out because they need to come back. And we can see that they're opening up the wall again, uh, doing the same defense as we saw last time, which I did enjoy, like how they were doing it, because that's uh, innovating for me at least. Yeah, but isn't Vitline the support? Mm. I think he was last season at least. Perhaps he has a new role right now. He, but he has, he's was playing L at the moment. <laughs> so perhaps not support. <laughs> <laughs> I think he has had a bad start. Uh, yeah, I mean that can happen at anyone. It doesn't matter which game you have. Yeah, and Spoil is going with the Jaeger. So it's going to be interesting to see. And you have a Lion coming in here. So that's going to be interesting. We have an Ella that's going to be... Oh, she has been spotted out, I think, as well. By a drone there. We have a Lion coming in as well and she's trying to see if he can get the drone pick up and now now they're shooting through all the walls she needs to move away she's going for the spray and trying to get a ki kill kill oh get scary it. scary scary Lion scan coming in standing still <laughs> will she get picked off will they oh now the drone comes in trying to find her and tries to get a kill but she gets killed in the back uh, by Selefsa on the lion so that's that is Ella going down for you. That's why people play play Vigil, because the drones can't see where you're running away. Yeah, the remaining uh, defendants are going to be towards the side. We did have the roamer, obviously, Ella. But he is uh, going down, obviously. <clears throat> so the question is now, Vitaline hasn't really been performing well, as we saw, uh, as we said. Um, but that, that could be a bad start. But, guys, I would like to mention for you guys, and remember... Um, or notice you guys that you can send in tweets using hashtag King of Nordic. If you do that, well, we can bring him up on screen. Tell you, tell your mom, hello, mom, mom uh, I'm on TV. I'm on TV or computer screen. Doesn't matter. But you're on a stream at least, and that is what counts. Chrome tell us something interesting. Chrome it on t TV and that's on TV. Exactly. She will be proud. Yeah. And but it's five versus four here now. The Swedes are holding a nice defense. It's one minute and twenty seconds left. 
So we're soon going into this last minute here. The push is coming, coming through really soon here. We have no one going through the tunnel. And we have a Mira trying to see if she can pick something off. Because I didn't see other wall in force there. It's kind yeah, of interesting if you... I mean, at, at that point, Thermite now wants to try to get in. It's a 4 on 4 situation. 55 seconds left. At this point, I kind of feel like Sweden does have the uh, sort of upper hand. But if McLovin is going to jump in and do like that, just in a few seconds, well... Uh, it's going to create something, a uh, little bit of a disturbance for the Swedes. Three versus uh, four. But they still have Mira. They still have Bandit. They still have the uh, smoke here. Oh, there we go. With the window getting open. But Mira not being able to connect the shots. And that is going to force it down once again. That was not a good play. Because right now the window is open. Which means the Thermite can get an advantage here. By just getting a little bit of a peek. No, but uh, it's not going to happen right now. Left, and now the Lion Scan comes in when they want to move in and they can see that the mirror is there we have them pushing in here now trying to get killed gets the kill is f only the smoke left here now going for the defense gets the diffuser seven six left and then gets pick off picked off pick off pick off <laughs> pick off hey and pick off the <laughs> six round going over to the finish side and that was a nice play by them they were waiting for last second and they still had a lion so they were preserving their like usage of everything and they had to move in the mirror got picked off first. Yeah, not only that, but this is exactly the point. I mean, the attacking side here for both of the teams, that is what it comes down to. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you need five rounds in order to win this. Uh, so it's 3-3 three, three right now. We do have two rounds remaining. If we can manage to get uh, Sweden up on two rounds more, well, that is the question. Ooh, ooh, but here ooh, we, ooh, 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 here we go. We're looking for the Swedish team right now. They are switching it up a bit. Uh, they're going for the church arsenal on defense here once more. They finished sighting since they lost it last time. And we, we can see our blitz coming in, which is I do I really do enjoy uh, as attacking side. And we were looking at the defendant side now. They have been switching up. They're not picking a Jager anymore. They're going for a smoke uh, as their defendant side, which they're switching up a bit, trying to catch the Swedes off guard a bit and like picking up a smoke instead of Jager. Uh, we don't have a Jin coming in, so from the Swedish side, so they don't really need a Jaeger. They only have, uh, they don't have too much actually from the ADSs to do, to remove. Uh, they have, we have the Hibana charges, but you don't usually throw them onto the site where the ADSs are. You can remove the ADS charges from by it, but nothing more than that. Yeah, and here we go once again. Northeast side is going to be the attack coming in from the Swedes at least. There's going to be four of the members starting it there. I'm not sure where the fifth one started. If he's going to start from the south side and be the roamer. But at this point, Jesus Morientes. And he does have backup from Nerios. And um, uh, the question is if they're going to. Yeah, they're going to go in and look at this blitz. It's gonna, this is going to be epic. Yeah, not ready for it. 100% not ready for it. He's running away. Ah, oh, shit. He has shit. the nail in the foot. That was unfortunate, and a smoke comes in, and that means that he needs to pull this out. And that is something that he can manage to do finally, but there we go. Goes in, yeah, and the flash, is that enough? It's not going to be enough. He tried to go in for oh, the pick, and he gets the frag. Headshot. Very important kill all of ready. One down from the finish side. And, uh, I kind of feel like the defense from Finland, I mean, they can get oh. better, because at this point, Sweden is just rushing over them. Yeah, and they're, going, they're switching up, like I said, with the, pit, with the blitz pushing in. That's a really nice play by them and switching it out. Like, they can't do too much about it. And he has his flashes, so it's going to be really hard for them. There's five against five against two now. Now they're pushing in five against four against two. And we have the Mira here now. He's ready for the Blitz. The Blitz gets to pick oh. smoke. And he wow. downs the Blitz, actually. And we only have the Legion left that has, like, one HP left and gets picked off at the end there by Mel Milon. And really nice round from the Swedes, like how they were playing it. Now they're going going to defense, and now they have to step up if they want to get this first round before the overtime. Yeah, but the question is here. Uh, I kind of feel like the attacking side, both of the teams, yeah, sure, they win the rounds. But Sweden looks the most confident on the attacking side as well. Because Finland, sure, they managed to get the frags that they need to get. But Sweden survives with like at least three members every single attacking round. Yeah, but they, have, they haven't won it. Like, uh, Sweden hasn't won every uh, every attacking round. They have won one defense round and then uh, rest is attack. Uh, so fin Finland can do some nice defense as well. Uh, but the fin their Swedish side, they are switching it up a bit and tr throwing some curveballs, yeah. which I do like enjoying of seeing. 
We have a Twitch coming in here now as well. And going for the Arsenal defense, the Swedish now. So those Twitch drones is going to be really, really vital here. And the one of the time when the Finnish did attack and won over the Swedish was when the Vigil got picked off really, really early in the round. Yep. Oh, definitely here we go with the setup points and once again we do have match point coming in from the Swedes less than 18 seconds left before the finish guys is going to go in for the uh, Satana Perkele and uh, that is exactly what they're gonna try to get down because at this point Sweden would like to have the defense like never before and it's gonna open up here that is very important um, that could be a very great way to try to just Get a little bit of advantage. Kind of looks like they're gonna do that. Gonna go in for the uh, spawn kills, perhaps. Like, oh, this is. Oh, he actually gets shot. So that is. Uh, he's gonna take a little bit of damage, which is gonna be very, very interesting because now they have the vision. The Finnish guys has the vision from one going away from there. So perhaps they're not gonna expect the second guy staying standing in right th in that exact position. Like he can run around as he wants at the moment. So that's something. That is gonna be interesting of seeing because these are opened everywhere. Like, oh, they know where he is. Oh, they, they scan him and gets off by kill. Harold. Nice by him picking that off the song with the drone uh, after some times, which was uh, really nice to see. I think I didn't. I don't even know if it's time. Oh, we have Spoil coming in with Legion going aggressively as well. Oh, get some damage into his back, but then moves up. Now they have to focus on this once more, like trying to find where he is. And he can run around up upstairs if he wants to as well. Now you can see that they're close to each other. Walls Wait, he's not walls. expecting this. No, I don't, I don't think so at least. He's taking it really easily. And he's getting shot in the back now, trying to see if he can find anything. Gets down and then Harold comes from the back. It's three against four. But that removes one minute and 20 seconds almost of the attack. And now they can start f focusing on going down. Yeah, exactly. Good play there from Finland. Wanted to go move into overtime. Oh, Tra Traco is upstairs as well. <laughs> go. Everyone is kind of going for this like play of standing above and not really caring. Like, do kind of disrespecting going for something. Oh, now he needs to move. He needs to move away fast because he has been spotted by the drones. He needs to be fast here if he wants to get out. Now the lion scan comes in. And he says stand still, but it, there are drones everywhere. And there are flashes and the Twitch drone smacking him as well. They're really close here now. Going for the shot again. Trying to get for kill here now. Gets a, some shots in. Oh, we can see that. Oh, oh nice. Beautiful play. Milan comes up from behind, helping his teammate out. And that is going to force it down to a 2 on 2. And if you take a look at the HP, we do have Mira still on the site. And take a look at that. Milan with his triple kill. And now it's all down to McLovin. And is this going to be GG? I think, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be GG because Sweden all of a sudden perhaps being able to win this round. And they do, ladies and gentlemen. The first game is over and it's going to be Sweden advancing to the upper final. Yeah, that's the, the upper final. <laughs> As you say, congratulations to congratulations. Like, they did. Sorry, I have to say it. Like, it's, it's me, okay? Uh, but it, it's me, okay? It, it's <laughs> like you're, you're a different kind of guy. But that was an amazing game by everyone. We can see that Milan is coming in with a 14 kill game. Amazing for his stats and did very well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we had Spoit and him. Looks like they got some kills in the, in the end there. Yep. But they had a day like Milan was uh, carrying it all the way through. It was nice to see and how they were like. If we saw the smoke, he was in there. I was like, I'm in trouble, guys. They have lion scans, they have drones, they have everything. I need help. But that, and yeah, then and yeah. then we see Milan coming up, running up, being like, okay, I will show you guys. I will take care of this. <coughs> I will help you out. What a bro. Yeah, definitely. I want him at my wedding, like like a best bro, you know. Oh, like a best man? Yeah, a best man. Yeah, a like best bro. Best bro, best bro. Uh, the ladies and gentlemen, if you take a look at this upper final, congratulations! It's gonna be in the upper final, while Save KD is gonna face off against the losing team in the upper semi between Denmark and Norway. Um, uh, I, I kind of feel like Sweden did a very good job, and obviously that last situation. That is something that we are going to remember because that is something a real best bro does. Um, now, though, we are going to uh, do it. We the we first of all, we have something that we haven't been saying today. Uh, uh, because we're not going to do that right now. Okay, exactly. okay, okay, okay. We just do, do, you, do, do you don't remember how we do it? <sighs> you want to? Do you want to take the next step instead? I want to go to the next step. I want to go to the next extra mile with you. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, do have a raffle winner for now for my raffle. This is my personal raffle. Give you guys back to you. Um, um, the winner is going to be Honeybridge seventy eight. Congratulations. Congratulations. And this is not what we're doing for the Swedish team. This is something we came up with before. But congratulations to Honeybridge78. Make sure to hit us up with a whisper uh, here on Twitch. And uh, we will get the information. And we will get you the code. And we will get you the, all of the, the stuff that you need, my friend. And guys, don't forget. We're actually going to be opening another raffle. You want to do it immediately? Yeah. I want them to Go be ahead. ready. Tell them. So guys, exclamation. Ex, ex, and like, like, rewind, remove the sign, remove the sign, remove the sign. We need to, okay. <clears throat> so guys, if you, like, we're going to be nice to you guys now. So we're actually going to be opening another raffle. So if you type exclamation mark raffle in the chat right now, you can win 600 Rainbow Six Siege credits right uh, on the next map, which is going to be amazing. And on that bombshell, we are going to take a short break. When we are back, we're going to take a look at Norway versus Denmark. And meanwhile... Make sure to get something to eat, make sure to get something to drink, because it's Wednesday. To, unfortunately, some of the guys need to work tomorrow. Um, I did say Wednesday. Uh, but get get uh, get something to eat, get something to drink uh, myself. I'm going to head to the toilet, and uh, we'll see you guys after the break. Come on.
Welcome back everyone, my name is Kronvall Hello, and Kronvall. I'm here with Kreativ Jesper Kreativ Sedendal Oh, I'm sorry And um, don't forget to follow our Twitters because we meme a lot uh, I don't, but uh, whatever uh, Guys, if you have been having fun a lot so fast and you're, you're, you're happy because you have water to drink now mm. And Oh, don't ever underestimate water, holy shit yeah, you can do a lot of things with your body with water. But don't forget, guys, if you want to have fun as well, being here on King of, uh, King of Nordic Rainbow Six in Season DC 2, Qualify 3 is next week. Don't forget to ha join the tournament, and I will tell you how to join it. If you are from Norway, you go to Gamer.no. If you are from Finland, Sweden, Denmark, go to tournament.com. And join there. Go to search, go to the Rainbow Six section, search for King of Nordic, and choose your country and join. Because you don't want to join the Danish team, the Danish qualifier, if you're from Sweden, and vice versa. Vice versa. And vice versa. Yeah. <coughs> so that's amazing. That's how you join us and have fun. That's that's um, amazing. And we do enjoy something else at this year. We like to talk a lot, as you've been seeing. Like we talk way too much. And we do love it. Yeah, but we want to hear it. your voice as well. So go hashtag King of Nordic. Send in some tweets. Send in the love for your teams. Because they will need it. Because they will watch this later on and get some hype for it. And we will get featured on the stream right here in the middle. Perhaps we have any tweets right now. Can we bring up an example how it looks like? Holy shit, my voice. <coughs> We're gonna... Holy shit, hold on. There we go. Uh, we're going to bring it up later on as well. So make sure to tweet in. And if you do that. Oh, Moru sent in some last week. Oh, oh, you have a pulse. He's not dead yet, guys. I, He's still I'm alive, to just to be sure. We have a tweet. Do we go in like this modern gaming from last week? They were sending in where the first team to qualify to King of Nordic playoff this season. GG to Egedal Esport. That was the second team that qualified with the lower seed yep. to the playoffs. So hashtag King of Nordic, sending some tweets, sending some love, and we guys can show you that. But and uh, but, but what? talking about Twitter, yeah, mm, we actually let's bring have, it up. We actually have some nice giveaway there as well. Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, yes! So guys, we have a Twitter for. <laughs> I'm not you? sure where that came from. <laughs> no, I have no idea. It All was, right, it was your in your fabulous self. Okay, uh, so you'll go to Twitter, go to our uh, Twitter page. You can win a HyperX Fury Large Gaming Mouse Pad. How to join is to follow the King of Nordic and tweet your best tweet to hashtag King of Nordic. And the best tweet will get picked. So be innovative, be creative, show your style, and how you will win this mouse pad. And they are braided all the way around. So it's amazing. And make sure to be creative. <coughs> Moving on. So now you have still have a Facebook live poll going on as well now. The Swedish are the first one, so you can go back there as well and change your like. But please don't if you're wrong. <laughs> uh, oh come on! And now we can like pick what you think will be the high seed, and you can win on the giveaway there as well. And there's 600 Rainbow Six Siege credits. And we have a HyperX Fury XL gaming mouse pad. So that you know can what? win some amazing stuff. You were talking about the Facebook poll. Let's bring up the bracket. Let's see how the bra bracket has been doing so far. Ladies and gentlemen, the first game was Sweden versus Finland, where Sweden and Finland fought off really hard. Not being able to win, though, was Finland. So Sweden moving on to the upper final, and Save KD Gaming is going to face off against the losing team between Denmark and Norway. Now, the next game, as you can see on the uh, bracket, is going to be Team Cosmos versus Endurance Gaming. And Endurance Gaming has been a part of King Nordic 4. Yeah. They're a team that has been coming back uh, from the last season, and they did qualify to the playoffs, if I am 99% sure about it. Because my memory is not good. Like, I am a goldfish up here, or a uh, ball. They were in the playoffs, yes. Yeah, look at me. I do remember. Set five. He's taking a chance. All right, <laughs> but uh, let's take a look at the rosters. Let's see who is going to play. For Norway, let's take it away. And for Norway, we have Endurance Gaming. 
And we have Chiliafisk, Chicken Lord, Rolf Lamau, Lol. Just, we're just gonna call him Rolf. 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 Is, is them gonna be Rolf? <laughs> Th- that's actually accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Rolf, and Rolf. then we have Large P and Blackout. And Chiliafisk was here last weekend trying to go for that playoffs seed. So he's coming back with another team here now, coming in and showing that they can come back. And last week, Rofel Mao Lol was actually in the team as well with Blackout last weekend. So they're coming back with another team with Chicken Lord. And Chicken Lord was in last season as well. I think Lodge Pia is uh, the new addition to the team from last season. I recognize Chicken Lord. Yeah, because he was saying Lord. <laughs> it was a fun e- word. Even in the middle, in middle, in the middle. Chicken Lord is a fun word. All right, ladies and, and gentlemen. They are facing a Danish team called Team Cosmos, and that's Jeffy, Benjamaster, Choco, Moist, Torden Guden, and this is as well as some players that we have been seeing before. And if I remember correctly, Benjamaster did play out of his mind, and he came as well. He was out of his mind. Playoffs as well. Yeah, he was out of his mind. I know Torden Guden. I I do recognize uh, Benjamin Master and Torden Guden. If I recall right, I think they both were in the playoffs in the same team as well. So um, this is going to be very interesting once again. What what can you say about the, the uh, other players though? Jeffy, Schalke, Moist, based on their stats. On their stats, you can literally say that everyone has almost over 16, 60% win rate. Uh, they have some... They have their eight like eight um, headshot percentage isn't that high, but they have a count. It's just, it's just, they have good stats, anyways. Like it, yeah, it's, yeah, not, it's, it's a, better yeah. than normal, yeah. normal players, but it's still uh, it's gonna be interesting in seeing if they have the team play because uh, the, the Norwegian team has better stats, hundred yeah. percent. And we're gonna be seeing if these guys can pick it up and coming in with some team play because if they have a team play, they can overcome anything. Yep, and you know what? It's more based on the stats. What you need to have on the stats, or you can base your stats on a little bit. Well, that is going to be the maps. So let's uh, jump into the veto and see which map we are going to jump into. That was a pretty good con- uh, transition, huh? Yeah, actually. <laughs> there you go. That was a little bit of a <laughs> cheeky touch. But here we go. And the first ban is uh, going to come in from Team Cosmos. And they are going to ban Chalet. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Yeah, because you, you okay, I, Chalet. Okay, there we go. Almost, almost. Oh, almost. Hey, Chalet. It was at, at least acceptable. But endurance gaming, Chalet. Uh, haha. Skyscraper is gonna fall down. It's not gonna go into the uh, game. Unfortunately, these two feels like an outsider. But back, Team Cosmos back, is gonna make sure they're gonna back, get a friend, and it's gonna back, be coastline, back, coastline going to, away. And, uh, well, that, once again, a pretty big map, which is something you don't want to play on, especially if you're a mixed team. But Endurance Gaming coming in with Clubhouse, and that is actually pretty good. That is actually pretty good because we don't want to see Clubhouse again. We would like to separate the maps a little bit, so good job from Norway banning Clubhouse. But Cosmos coming in with the ban on two. Back. The cafe. The, the oh, cafe. cafe. Oh, my, 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 but this thing is in the way. Sorry, I'm, guys. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for there bank. There we go. Okay, so Cosmos bank, is banning bank. off a uh, cafe, and Endurance Gaming is gonna bang. <laughs> bank is gonna fall down, which leaves three pretty good yeah, maps. I'm, 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 I'm predicting it's three maps left. They're gonna pick border. Um, so yeah, Cosmos is gonna get banned here. All right, so the next ban is going to be from Cosmos, and it's going to ban Border. So that leads Consulate oh, and Oregon. Because Consulate, they don't want to play Oregon. It would, Consulate. it would be fun to see Consulate, but I kind of like agree with you because Oregon is that sort of map which you love. I mean, it's most common, but let's and see. the, the winner ban. is... Yeah, Oregon. there we go. Endurance Gaming banning off Consulate. So Oregon is going to be the map. And What uh, does Endurance choose to pick sides? Attacking... Or defense. We're listening to the production team and listening to their what they're going to be saying to us. So we're waiting for you guys in the production team to tell us. So Norway choose to go for the attack. Interesting. Uh, so and the Danish are going for the defense. It's a small country down south by Norwegian. So so their defense Norwegian, are pretty good. No no region <laughs> no region are coming with a lot of salmon attacking and we're gonna be interesting to seeing. Yep. I think the game is actually being loaded up right now. But what can you tell us about uh, Oregon? 
and what is the for, for example what's the differences between clubhouse and oregon that is going to determine the game for this one like oregon is similar to clubhouse they have that basement hole that we saw last week as well like you guys some of you all many of you guys know if this is that 1.3 win again here now because you've been holding it the percentage of defense winning there is actually more so it's easier to hold that so you always have that to go around and then we almost every time see kid storms uh, afterwards those two points are getting switched through and we can see that they're going for the laundry supply room that's the basement on their holding and we have a pick here that our saw so last week i was casting with lova he loves castle he's been playing him all the weekend by himself and he does love that oh it i can hear him scream and he do love it and that's going to be the defense for our team cosmos they're going for smoke and there we have a big show it really fast that was really playing it we have the smoke mira and the jaeger we have the two anchors at least we're going to see i think we have three anchors here and we have a mute as well uh, we're going to be seeing mira smoke holding downstairs uh, i think jaeger is going to be roaming out i think we're going to have mute as well castle might be holding down yeah i think i think jaeger is going to be one roaming around and try and get pickoffs here. I think Castle could be doing it as well. If I'm not mistakenly, how they're going to be playing this. And we have a Doka B and the Lion coming in for the attack and the Blitz for the Endurance Gaming. That's actually going to be interesting of seeing uh, Lion and Doka B are kind of meta at the moment. So that will be nice to see. We only have one Hard Breacher and we have Jing. So we don't have any Soft Breachers, which is going to be interesting of seeing how they choose to attack this. Because it's going to be harder to open up some small some holes in the walls. But I kind of feel like the defense here, the uh, the operators that they picked, I mean, they're really going to go in for the defense at this point. I mean, there's just going to be a holding angle sort of style. Perhaps there's going to be a little bit of roaming, but I mean, it's not going to be that sort of roaming that you can see from a long oh. distance. Oh my God. Benja Master needs two bullets to take Rolf down. Or Rolf Lamalamana lol. Rolf Lamalamana lol. <laughs> uh, whatever that and was Ruffle actually a really Ruffle. important pick because that's the jing for you and the jing actually is the one that's pushing the site and like making so you can plant and like everyone gets covered in yep. white stuff uh, i mean it uh, gets blinded uh, now the first lion scan is coming in here can they find anyone running around we can see the lion is trying to see if we can find anything coming out of this you know, once again, Mira is going to be down at point, trying to just make sure to be the second defense. Well, we do have Mute. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Oh, this is smart. They're going to use it away. Oh, that Aww. is not as smart, though. Um, missing out on that smoke. Does have smokes left, but at the same time, they've opened up the window. So, Hilefis does have a little bit more information and can perhaps base his information to the, the, the uh, teammates, so to speak. Yeah, actually, this castle pick is really good at the moment. Since they don't have any soft breachers, it's going to be hard for them to open everything because they have to start hitting. We can see one, someone is standing there hitting that door so they can go down the stairs a lot there, which is interesting I'm seeing because like, they can't break through it easily. They have to hit it 12 times, which I think is hilarious because this is actually a good pick now. And Logan's going to be amazingly angry at this. Oh. Well, another perhaps a little bit more impressive. We get another so. kill coming down onto the Hibana. So we only have the Lyo and Doka B left here and the Blitz for the attack. And Derus Gaming is in a big of a uh, trouble at the moment. And Team Cosmos is going for another kill and gets, oh, gets him down now. Only the Doka B left. And they're going to be picking. Oh, gets a kill there. So we now they get their first kill to counter that and now he gets picked off as well we only have the doka be left here doka by I, i'm not seeing it correctly i think she's going for the kill gets the kill doing a lot of chicken there's doing a ro lot here now at the moment can he get last one he's had knows that someone is behind the wall we have a smoke coming in and he gets picked off as well when she's trying to push the site that's a hard bridge like if she would have been made that and i come back and went win that round it would be an amazing play but um, it's gonna be hard as we as we've been seeing that's the three point win and since they didn't have any soft breacher breachers they couldn't like go into rooms and try to go for them because it was too hard yeah definitely a little bit more uh perhaps a better setup on the attack it's gonna give them a little advantage here 
But I'm a little bit interested here on the uh, attacking side once again. Cosmos. <coughs> yeah, you mean you th you're thinking about the Jakal coming in? Definitely. I mean, both Jakal we do have Lion once again, but just the overall picks, the way the Cosmos playing. Um, when they're going in for the d defense, they have a, a smart plan. What it kind of kind of looks like, and it's interesting to see how Cosmos is going to just um, just going in for it. So at this point, sure, we would like to see the setup phase, but usually it's kind of the same. And I'm not sure, but it looks like this perhaps could be the same once again. Chicken Lord putting up his, he's gonna put up his wall there soon enough. Um, but I would like to see the attack here. I would like to focus a little bit more on the Cosmos and see the way that they're going to attack, because I think they're going to have a smart plan at this point. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting, because they have the Akala can really show where the players are, are uh, mm -hmm. and where they're hiding. And that's going to be interesting, because he can, like, they can't have a roamer at the moment. Exactly. He's countering the roamers, and the Lion does that as well. So they have two roamer counters. But they don't have any soft breaches here once more. They have the Jing that's going to help them with the plan to have the... Twitch that's going to be opening up the, the windows from the mirror. But it's interesting of seeing how they were choose to do it. Uh, that nobody, no, none of these teams are picking any soft breaches. So if they had a castle here once more, it would be nice as well. Yeah, definitely, but there is a lot of people out there is being exactly like Leuven, hating castle. So uh, the question is now how they're going to go in for the attack here. Because at this point we do have two roamers. Oh, well, I wouldn't really see Romans because they're pretty decently close to the bomb sites, but they're at least on one floor above. And there we go, with a little bit of uh, action going on. Leishan trying to get that first frag, not connecting the shots the way that he wanted to, but he's going to have Bannock there to help out. But once again, there is a lot of movement coming in here, and Lars being able to find the first one, goes in for the second one, perhaps the third one as well, not being able to connect the shots to him. He's actually falling down, I believe. Yeah, he is. He's, he's downed. And there we go with Lars going down. Shoko finally gets him down. But at the same time, he has more players there to help. And there we go. Perfectly placed. Perfectly placed. Perfect position for Khalifis being able to pick on two. Jeffy now the only player remaining on the Cosmos. It's a good defense here. But I'm not sure if they used the call the way that they could have used him. Yeah, and, but something that Switch has been going for her is that she has the bomb that she can go in with here now. Try to go for that plaid. But we have a smoke coming in, and oh, she's standing on a leeching trap. She's starting to lose HP, and then we have the smoke. She's just going to run forward and get picked off. Uh, that's a hard round for them, because they were taking it very too slow. Uh, when they had their call, they have should have like just scanned the f footprints and tried to see if they could find anyone. Uh, but I didn't see any call scans coming in to see where they were running. So, the second ro round is going over to Endurance Gaming with that defense. So, both have won their defense so far. By kind of being a bit roamy and doing it nice place. Yeah, but uh, kind of interesting how how they had Lion, Lion in the in their team, but it kind of did he use his scream? Yeah, he did two times. Okay, I missed it. A little bit lost there at, for a moment, but it doesn't matter right <laughs> now. It's one to one. It's not gonna difference anything. The defense is what's holding these two teams into one round each. And the risk gaming is going for the same attack stack here now, and uh, same same setup. If they like once more, like Castle would be nice here. Like he would be like they would they would have so much trouble by having to open those windows and just having a mirror window upstairs and just waiting for it and try to see if when they're pushing would be like make their day so so. But hard. what 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 could be the negative effect? from having a castle just in case they do have a soft breach breacher is there anything else castle can come up with to help out with the team yeah of course he he, he has a gun that does a lot of damage as well uh, that, but the main thing is that, that why Luvi doesn't like him is that you like like your teammates you can like if you were closing off your teammates they can't run back and like just drag down uh, everything and just push forward and come back and stuff like that that's why he doesn't like it so you can get punished by it and get cornered. But doesn't he, if if a teammate removes one of the walls, doesn't he get it he back then? No, he doesn't. Sure about that? Because I read the chat last week, and they were like, yeah, he gets it back. Uh -huh. Perhaps tweet us in, hashtag King of Nordic. Make sure to send in tweets. And also follow us on King of Nordic on Twitter. If you do that, you are entered to a uh, mouse pad. 
uh, a uh, HyperX Fury L uh, gaming and mouse pad. So make sure to do that. Follow King of Nordic and send your best tweet to hashtag King of Nordic. Yeah, we have a two minute mark coming in here. We have the kids storms as we have been seeing so far into the round. We have the upper floor hold of which the teams usually pick. Because if I remember correctly, the third one is very bad and not the best one. And it's not, yeah, it's hard to hold it, so to speak. And uh, we can see that they are going to go for this play with the, the Blitz here now. He's going to be running in. And he's getting Ooh. picked down really fast there. And then Seaford from underneath. We have the post there. And then we have a Doki B calling at the West saying, Hello, why did you kill my boyfriend? And it's 5 to 3. We have a Doki B. Oh, there's a lot. He gets picked of up as well. Work. We have a Jing and the, the Lion left. Because we only have the Lion left now. And uh, they're still calling. And Shoko gets the last one, which is a very nice round for Team Cosmos. They are doing a nice place at the moment, and Benya Master is gig with his team are pushing it forward very well. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of uh, things happening at the same time. That's why I like that point, because when you're deciding to go in for the execute, you throw the smokes, you do, uh, you do have your sort of way to go in. You want to have your angles, you want to have the peaks that you want to have. But the defense, for example, pulls there from underneath. Just having that pulse is so important, man. I mean, I, even though he, he he just sees to the wall with obviously his his tools, so to speak. But um, I kind of feel like the way that way the way that he used that C four. That is exactly why you should play pulls, and that is exactly how the pulls players play pulls. If that makes any sort of sense, because you need to think a little bit outside the box when you play him. Yeah, you're usually standing uh, underneath and like waiting for them to come as well. Yeah. Um, but we are watching the uh, Endurance Gaming here now. They have a Valkyrie, but this guy's gonna get countered by the IQ getting him from the Benya Master, which is nice to see if this is them picking. Because now the Valkyrie is gonna be getting shot down pretty easily since he can be scanning for her cameras. Uh, from the defending side, we have Jager, Smoke, Valkyrie, Legion, and Mira attacking. And it's going to be Blitz, Lion, Hibana, and Jing, and the IQ. Once again, people, the, this team don't, doesn't seem to like be playing a lot of soft creatures on this map so far. So these both teams, uh, which I think is kind of interesting. Maybe that's more meta right now. But it's going to be interesting of seeing how they were playing it out. The attack phase has started. So they're going to be taking here from the north side. They're going to be checking out the tower and trying to see if they have any players hanging out up there and running around. Ooh, a little bit of panic there from Ibana. He wanted to get that camera before any sort of information was given. At this Ooh. point, Jagged, he wants to try to do something. And it's going to be a lion call being out there. Not being detected. That is very important. Obviously, can go in for the peak. Falls back to the original position. Lars, last time performed really well in his position, managed to get two frags. Khalif is there to back him up. At this point, he's not going to be as close, Khalif is this time. And that is going to force Lars to, you know what, we need to fall back, but it doesn't matter. Torden Guten will be able to find a frag there. And this forces us down into a four on five situation. Not only that, but Ivan is going to be able to open up uh, some walls just to make sure that, you know what, we need, we need a little bit of plan here. Maybe we should move around. And get something done here, Chicken Alert. Find it's the, uh, the drone moving in. And Benja Master's drone is going to be gone as well. Soon enough, the attack is going to happen, Cornwall. Yeah, they're going out. Benja Master gets another kill there. Nowhere two of the players are. One of the players, at least. Uh, she's going in. And we can get punished from the back there by Julia Fisk. We have both the leash and, and the, the smoke. No, Valkyrie is going aggressive. Uh, we have the smoke going down. Um, and now they have to move up towards the top floor because they don't have anyone up there at the moment. The, the bomb is getting planted and now the lion is coming oh. in. The Shigalar gets a kill with the C4 uh, through the floor there as well, which is I do I do enjoy of seeing. And now though, Lysian and the Valkyrie is going to be having a hard time since they are up floor, they're having a, holding everything at the moment. Oh, we can see that the Valkyrie is trying to get a kill but doesn't connect. We have the Legion upstairs trying to find these players and gets killed when she was trying to go th through the wall by the Torden Guden on the Hibana. We only have Valkyrie left and she's in the stairs. Skildor needs to do something right here now and start moving fast here. And he, she's going to be pushing up here now with the Deagle to switch back to her main weapon and uh, reloading. And the players are everywhere at the moment. Finds one and gets killed. I think he gets down by uh, the Legion trap and she's looking for the last players. And they're holding outside on the roof there. 
so she can't do too much about it. She's trying to go for the kill, but doesn't connect. Going for the defense from a long way here now, and then gets picked off by Moist. And that was a nice attack from the team Cosmos. It was. Yeah, I mean, definitely, the way that they attacked for it, uh, they're just going in for it. If they manage to do the way that they executed, well, that is exactly how they are going to approach the game. But we do have a tweet here coming in from Frida Harders. Uh, at King of Eric, how much does Polar Bear wait? Enough to break the ice. Please, I have no friends. Frido, if you hit me up on Twitter, Frido, I'll be your... Sorry, Frida. Well, I will be your friend, so uh, go to my uh, exclamation mark, Cromwell underscore... And I will be your friend and I can send you some DMs and we can have a nice time uh, playing some games or something if you want a friend. Best bro. Yeah, best bro. I told you. <laughs> he, 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 can he can come get you with the oh. car as well. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you pay gas. Yeah, okay. Don't give too much. I, he's saying <laughs> I got my friend uh, Shap mad on Twitch. I got him today. I drove 70 miles to get him. He has to be a nice dude. And we just to see nice another dude. castle coming in from T Cosmos here now. And I do enjoy this because they don't have any soft creatures. But that is going to be the question now. If we, for example, Cosmos win this one, obviously it's going to be match points for them. Which is going to force it down to Nor and Jordan's Gaming trying to figure out a way to uh, go in for the defense on the next round. They could perhaps pick up a castle. I mean, Cosmos is haven't, haven't really used... Uh, they're sort of uh, soft breachers in, into the no, game. No, so, I mean, they could pick up a castle. The question is if they're going to do that, if they're going to take that risk. Because even though castles is a really good pick at that point, some players don't basically just don't like playing castle. I, like a lot of people, I do, I see people playing him. So, it's not too much hate. You say only Louvre. No, no, no. It's not, it's not hate I'm meaning. It's just more that I. Well, it's my my opinion, obviously, but I kind of feel like you you have those sort of walls, or you want to whatever you want to call them. But that's it. Yeah, but like, see, like now they have to be using so much software. They can't run around. They can't switch up their attack if they want to do it. When they're committed on one side, they have to go through that either to open up all the win the the walls and everything. Yeah. That's going to be hard for them. Like They can't mo roam around. Even though the castle gets picked off, it's going to be really hard for them to go through. And they would get the pick off goes on the smoke. The no, the mute there. And that's a nice pick off for the first for the Druid's game here. And they're doing very well when we have the castle trying to go for a counter kill here. She has, he has a lot of things done, but left pushes down and then the lions can come in. He has been detected, so they know that he's uh, down below now. If, uh, but they didn't seem run down, so I couldn't, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't know that he jumped down. That's kind of true. Oh, and here we go for on four situations. Going to be Benjamin as to finding the frag on the chicken lord. Now the question is if they're going to try to move in or not. Well, if it's drawn, oh, there we go with Jagger. They do have uh, a little bit more information about how, perhaps how they want to move in using those drones. Now here we go. This is why you <laughs> need a soft breach. Come on, this take time. <laughs> that was not e okay that was not even planned all right well anyway <laughs> ladies and gentlemen for a for situation uh, there is a lot of hp on all of the operators left but it's a very important round for endurance gaming on the attacking side here because they need to get this win if they do and this is that is going to give them a lot of castles down on low HP though. Yeah, but Benny Master has a really nice hold here now from his eyes. And I, I don't... Th uh, yeah, I think Tibana know, no, Jing knows a bit that he was there. But he can come around and go for some damage in the back line here now. Gets Benny Master gets the kill there, as we saw. Really nice from him. Gets the second one. He's playing out of his mind. It's two versus four now. It's only the Lion and the Twitch left. And I think we have one Lion scan left. And the line is in the bottom floor here. He needs to move away. And we have the Twitch doesn't have any drones to get picked up. Benimas gets, gets the line. Now we only have the Twitch left going for it. And the scan is up at the moment. And he, the Twitch is getting help. But it can't connect. And the Ma Mira is getting moist. Gets that skill there. Uh, really nice play from Benyamaster. He's playing out of his mind. Getting this back into it, so to speak. And Benyamaster. And they actually match point now here for the Danish team. <laughs> <laughs> The Cosmos? Yeah, the Team Cosmos. Yeah, Cosmos. Danish team. They're Danish. 
Ja, Team Cosmos. So yeah, there we go with the tweet coming in from Ole Andreas. This Android gaming Rainbow Six Siege roster will be even stronger than the last with enough practice. And last time we finished second place in Kingdom Nordic Season 1 playoffs, watch out. That's actually very true. So Android gaming, I, if, I'm, if I'm recalling right now, the way when they qualified into the playoffs, they did have a tough task. And I do believe that they came in on the lower seed win. So they had a tough task during the uh, during the qualifiers, but overall they managed to get the second spot in the playoffs. So that is exactly real. So ladies and gentlemen, is what you need to do though to uh, help us out or help us out later. Get, uh, try to win a mouse pad. What you need to do is just follow us on Twitter hashtag uh, on uh, King of Nordic on Twitter. And then send in your best tweet to hashtag King of Nordic. If you do that, you get the chance to win a Hyper Fury large gaming mouse pad. So make sure to do that on Twitter. Blackout and uh, Rolf here, and they need to come back. They only have one kill each. They have to be stepping up the game, going for those counter kills and getting back into it. It's four to one here now for Team Cosmos. Uh, it's not over yet. It's three rounds left, and it will be over time. But Endurance is up for a tough task. Yeah. They have picked Echo now, which is a curveball, and he's going to be helping out with the defense on the bottom floor. If it doesn't get picked off in the early rounds, uh, on the attacking team, we have a soft bridge now, because <laughs> Team Cosmos don't want to run into any castles, which I do love. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm just going to say that I love castles at the moment. Like, I, I love him because it gets Luvi tilted, and I love him because it was a nice pick. But, I mean, not only that, but if, for example, if Endurance Gaming managed to hold the defense right now, they are going to go into the attack mode next one. And the question is if it's, if Endurance Gaming is, is going to have to expect the castle at that point and is going to pick us off Breacher for their attack. Yeah. I mean, that th shouldn't that be kind of realistic thinking? That Could they should be picking us off Breacher, even though they sh they'd rather not play it because that that's not their game plan, so to speak. Could be interesting on how they choose to do it. You can see that the bandit's trying to see if he can get anything. We had a smoke going down there, but it gets picked back up again, and that's really important. Oh, Julief is really close here now. Almost seeing one of the players since the Alliance gang comes down and gets a kill. He gets a counter kill back to it. The Jaeger has been picked off, but did get that Twitch drone picked off. So the windows are safe down below. And Shik uh, Shuko gets another kill from the Team Cosmos. And it's 4-3 oh. to three here now. And we can see that Bandit is trying to get something out of this. Trying to get back into it. But it's really hard for him at the moment. He's getting pressured with a lot of drones. A lot of people picking him. He's going for the spray. Trying to see if he can get anything from it. Um, they're all over the place. Yeah, but down by low and upstairs on the other side. And the Lion Scan comes with an easy time kill. And gets picked up by Tulin and give down. So now it's only 42. Now Smoke and the Mirror, the two anchors down by the side now, have a tough task. It's interesting of him throwing in the there the flash is coming in from the as well. So that actually that that oh smoke coming in straight onto the bomb. And we can see that oh Hibana gets picked off but doesn't plant the diffuser. We only have the smoke left here now, because the mirror got picked off and it's four to three, and we have one in the back room here and gets picked off for Choco! And that's the game for you guys. Team Cosmos getting the second uh, higher uh, final here now placement and going over to face. Congratulations to Swedish team. And the MVP is uh, Choco. Yeah, he's been performing really well. I mean, the way that he, uh, he forms his team and helps his team with all those frags. I mean... It's just gonna be a very, very good job, a very good job from him. And I kind of feel like Benjamin, I kind of feel like overall the whole team did something to win this game because it's a team game, obviously. So everyone, everybody helped out. But I kind of feel like Jeffy was a little bit of a ghost at this game, uh, in, in this game at least. And I hope to, uh, to when they are gonna face up against Sweden now, I really hope that Jeffy can perform so we can see a little bit more of him because I, it's interesting as soon as you get new players you would like to see how they're reacting how they're playing and i kind of feel like jeffy was a little bit yeah as a ghost uh, in the, at least at least in this game yeah we didn't get too much presence of him on the map exactly yeah uh, so but i think they played very well like they, they yeah. did to throw some curveballs and uh, they were a bit shaky there and oh here we have the oh, he hello 
fancy and stuff, guys. Going congratulations, feeding Greek, Greek gods. gods. Oh, they requested a name change in there, so they're Greek gods. GG. What were they called? It are they Cosmos? That was cooler. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So there's an okay. We don't have to bring that up. That's their thing to talk about. Um, Greek gods GG is gonna be moving on and facing off a congratulations. That was a convincing win as well with five to one. Um, uh, there isn't really much to say even more than uh, Denmark really performed the way that. I, I really hope though that Sweden is looking at the looking at the stream, trying to figure out because. If they can pick up a castle, I can kind of feel like it's going to be a tough task for Denmark. Uh, yeah, but no, but the Denmark was the guys who was playing castle. Yeah, but they uh, were but, never but having it, a soft breacher but, until but the, the, the last round. It depends on if it's going to be Oregon again. Like, Oregon, now they know how they are playing on Oregon. So they know that they will be needing a soft breacher. So you think that they're going to have a... Uh, that you think it's going to be Oregon again? No, but if it, if it gets Oregon... Yeah, but do you but, believe that, that uh, it could perhaps uh, be that map? Back. But, back. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we do have the raffle oh. going on. You, yeah, we will give you a few so, seconds so, left. So, they have forgot to take off the lights once more. Can you can't, can you see it? Like the battery, guys. The car will die. You will not be able to move it. God damn it! But yeah, I was like, we do have a we about? do oh. have a winner for the raffle, guys, and the winner of six hundred Rainbow Six C's credit. 600 <laughs> red, <laughs> and we have a winner for the raffle and the winner is Konyo uh, no congratulations 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 to 600 rainbow six siege credits Yep, and not only that, but at this point, I kind of feel like it's time to start another raffle. Yep, but but this time, this time, Th this time, this time, because we are going into the. Should we announce that it before the game instead? Yeah, guys, okay, okay, okay. we have a good raffle coming in here. We're gonna be doing that in the first game, in the start of the game. In the beginning, yeah, when when we when so, we are back from the commercial. So after oh, the break. So after this break, make sure we're starting it. in three. Two. Hi. Come on.
All right, guys, welcome back once again. We do have our uh, stuff going happening right now. And we are in a room, uh, which is for us very awkward. But if you take a look at this room, I mean, it's BEA beautiful. I mean, it's more than a room. It's a big hall, man. Look at the counter. <laughs> <laughs> Some, uh, if this, if this is your hall? standard room, I want to live in your apartment. Holy fuck! That's would actually. This that, is like that was actually pretty cool. What, what do you have? Like what? 140 but, square meters is no, one room. In in this room. Hey, cool, in, cool, in, cool. In this cool. room, that is my uh, bedroom. That the one. That, that's the, that's the door. Yeah. The and door? in the other one. Not the that, window though, right? No, no, shut like up. this on shut the <laughs> So you see this window? Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, okay, so this window, this by the way. This is my bedroom. Right. Is, is that a window? Mm. Mm. It's a lamp. In the in the Liberari. The Easter egg. Oh, well, I see it. Yeah, I see it. Very it's hard on to the spot. Side. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again. King of Nordic Rainbow Six Siege. Um, we do, we are actually on our second season now, which is pretty, our pretty, second pretty season. damn ins impressive, actually. It is, it is. Um, Two times. Yeah, and my name, as back you can back. see, back to back. To back. <laughs> That's very important. We're very it was actually not back-to-back, -back, though. We, we did have a I mean, our, our season is back-to-back. -back. And so is the transparency of our streaming. Okay, shut up. Uh, <laughs> here, he had it with you guys and Luva is uh, the, the, the castle hater. Um, yeah, I don't and like him. We did actually talk during the commercial or we the did. break. We, uh, what, and so what did speak. we talk about? We talked about you literally said that was not a good round from castle. Like overall, no, having castle overall, is that was the worst pick ever. Sort of I, style. Uh, the worst pick ever. Maybe not. But in that round, like castle actually made it worse for his mute. Because he castled twice, which made it so that mute couldn't rotate out and kill the people on the stairs. And after the C4 kind of hit the window there, it was very <laughs> awkward for the mute there for a few <laughs> seconds when he had this tiny, tiny peek hole. And, but I mean, amazing job from all of the anchors on site. Like they, they played it perfectly. They clutched but did, that round. You, you so know, well. sometimes you need to take a risk, man, castle. Yeah, perhaps. I mean, I mean what, they, 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 they trust the ankle, ankles, uh, an An ankles. ankles? ankles. I mean, okay. I trust well, both my ankles and anchors. <laughs> but we do have. <laughs> <laughs> it was tougher casting with you. Shut up. <laughs> um, all right. So we do have another raffle coming up. And this time we are going to go a little bit bigger since this is the, uh, the upper final. So ladies and gentlemen, yeah, in the chat right now is a HyperX bundle. It's a Polefire FPS plus a Fury uh, medium gaming mouse pad. All you need to really do is just exclamation mark raffle in the chat. And if you do that, you are entered to um to win this basically and uh, I, I i love the stuff i love the stuff uh, i've been playing with it a, a couple of times actually so i i, I do enjoy it uh, and their mouse pads are actually pretty pretty comfortable nice. I, I like nice. i love the the h i'm not the, the braided yes thank the you braided border braided. i'm swedish so that's why um Sveti, yeah Sve now uh, but make sure to on our Twitter as well. Uh, we do have a giveaway where all you need to really do is just follow us on Twitter. I just, Twi just sorry, Twi but talking about giveaway, you're kind of like Santa Claus. Have you seen the Have you seen the tree, man? Yeah. Th this is the reason. That those are all of your giveaways down there in in the in the corner. Down here. By the tree. And here we have <coughs> Santa Claus Jesper giving you away. <coughs> With or the not giving you away, I'm, giving I'm, away I'm, stuff I'm, to I'm, you. I'm a young Santa. Oh, young Santa. Yeah. A young Santa. I'm still looking all okay. Still looking good. Rather good. Uh, but, yes, I <laughs> agree with you. Um, all you need to really do is just follow us on Twitter. Twitter.com slash King of Nordic. And send in a tweet to us using hashtag King of Nordic. Best tweet you can... Muster. It literally says, uh, tweet your best tweet to hashtag King of Nordic. That's literally what you need to do. And if you do that, the best tweet will win the mouse pad from us. It's a uh, HyperX Fury Enlarged Gaming mouse pad. So make sure to do that. And uh, after that, you can send it to me. <laughs> if you don't like it, I'll just... <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, now, no though. Now, let's finally now. Uh, talk a little bit more into the game. You've been sitting in there. I've been sitting in there, yeah. So let's bring up the uh, brackets and let Luve loose on the two teams that are going to battle out here on the upper final. Ooh. So um, the upper final, we have congratulations, which is um, the Swedish team that almost... O old almost, follows, Foley yeah. Swedes, yeah. Pretty much almost the old Foley Swedes versus uh, Greek gods or Team Cosmos, as they were called in the first 
semi here, in the upper semi. And it's, it's going to be an interesting game, to be honest. I think that uh, Sweden, when we saw them last season, they had a really strong in-game leader. And I think that they are currently lacking a as strong in-game leader. I think that they are currently struggling a little bit with filling that, that spot from what I saw uh, in the first game. Because we still see we still see the the key players, the ones that just run into the point and frag and go Traco, loose. for example. Yeah. We've Traco been talking a lot about from the season one, Traco was playing Ella a lot he and was, he, was he was really out of his mind. Insane player. And uh, I, I think that the only reason why they seem a little bit less polished this time around is that they don't have the two uh, in-game leaders that they had last time. Because last mm -hmm. time they had two really good support players and leaders, Lobade and... Um, Oh my, that word disappeared. It was but Folly. Folly, yeah, there we go. Folly. Yeah. Um, but wasn't Vitaline also a support player? I recall that. Kinda, kinda. But he was also one of those that was a little bit uh, more in between. It was more oh, between yeah, Lobot and Fallin to really like stay back and support the rest of them. And mm. those three kids just went ham whenever mm. they wanted to. Mm. Especially Traco and Spoit, both of them amazing players. Yeah, but the, uh, both Spoit and Vitaline didn't really perform there in the first game versus Save KDE Sports, I think yeah. they're called. I can't really see... I would like to see them get back, obviously, because Spoid has been out of his mind, but at this point, it kind of feels like Ella has been taking... Uh... What, oh my god. I mean, uh, Ella took a punch. I, It kind of feels like Vitaline has been taking uh, Traco's role now yeah. in the attack at least or in, in the offense or whatever you want to call it kind of feels like Vitaline is now going to be that roaming player that is going to just run, run around do whatever he wants to basically but last time it didn't really work out um, but it all depends on the map as well it, it does. does it does and uh, we are going to jump into the veto to see which uh, is going to jump into the veto soon enough and we've seen Oregon Oh, this is something. Actually, you yeah. you casted with Krumba last week. I did. I did. It was like literally border, 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 Oregon. Yeah. Why? I think that border has become a really uh, favored pick from a lot of teams because of Lion, and especially oh. if people were uh, um, were watching the the pro players, they've started playing a lot of Lion together with either a Yakal, as we were talking about, or you two were talking about a lot here in the first two games, or with a Dokabe. And both of the points are kind of constructed so that you want to either equalize the teams on them, so that you have two attackers, or not two attackers, but two defenders, either below or on top of the site. Mm. Um, maybe three sometimes, depending on how you play. I know that And Swedish, now we're talking mostly about border. Or yeah, most, okay. yeah okay. strictly about border. Okay. Um, and I think that's what made it a map that was played even more, because it was still a map that was played in pro play. Um, but... Mm then you kind of have to mix it up a little bit with maybe a Montang and a Glass, and it was al almost never the it preferred It did work picks. out last time. It did, well, it I, did. I think it was the, like, the first round or whatever it yeah. was, and it was first, a Glass, first round it was a Lion. Yeah, it was a crazy, crazy first round at least, and uh, L18, I think it's called? Or he wanted to be called Lo uh, Loiko, Lo <laughs> whatever, whatever. Uh, the veto is going to come in now, though. So let's take a look at the, what we have. It's a congratulations. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Congratulations, Sweden versus Greek guard, the Greeks, Greek gods, GG. Uh, oh, my and, God, uh, wait. And they are from Denmark. They are from Denmark. They're, they are from Denmark. This is so meta, though. Because we're saying congratulations, Sweden, like they've already won. <laughs> this is actually, but but it's like it's, it's meta smart. BM. It's smart. Yeah, it's, it's smart. It's smart. It's smart. It's. it's, smart. Smart. it's, it's I, I'm not sure if they really Man. thought about it in the stream though. That was going I mean, to say congratulations, I bet, I bet Sweden. Did. But no. I bet you they did. They were like, okay, we're gonna for... BM our teammates. Call and, ourselves and congratulations. And it's all. It's all GG. It's all GG. Yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Sweden is gonna be the one fir batting first, and they are gonna take down skyscraper. Not really surprised. No. Um, when do you think, like, honestly, when do you think these sort of maps is going to actually get into the game and being played more often? Uh, some of these, I, I could see them being played when you have more of a best of three, best of five. But since ah, we in these true. qualifiers have a best of one only, you can you can really opt for your favorite map. Ah, that's true. Um, and then you kind of want to choose the maps that you play the least as the first bands. We and did we did see a lot of maps, like different sort of mm. maps in the playoffs we when did, it actually did. was a best out of three. So okay, that's a, that's a good I good answer. Good yeah. answer. 
Family, uh, family Feud. All right, there we go. Congratulations, band Skyscraper and G Greek Arts uh, Chalet. Uh, Sweden once again. I'm going to call them Sweden again because their name is too long. Bank and uh, GD Band Clubhouse. Now, though, it's Border Coastline Consulate Cafe and Argon Cafe. Yeah, I'm, I was about to comment on that. But, okay, there we go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, how is how is Cafe alive for this long? Like, this is one of the bands or one of the maps that usually gets banned, like, first. First band. Everything. Well, next band is going to be Coastline. Yeah, yeah that leaves Oregon, Border, and Consulate. I kind of feel like Consulate is, once again, going to get banned and it's going to be, like, Border or some shit. I would love to... Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, I would yeah, love I would to, like see, to see it. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, I totally agree with you, but it's... <laughs> Yeah, it's. I, th I think it's a little bit. Um, it's a very teamwork heavy map. We go with border though. We go with border yeah. once again. It's a very solid map, very solid pick. But I, w I would like to see consulate. It's a very interesting team play map, and it since it's so big, uh, Lion really gets optimized on it. Mm. Uh, so does both Yakala and uh, Dokabe, and that might be. Uh, that might be why we're not seeing it so much, because the mm. teams here don't really adapt to the meta as quickly as some pro players do or uh, the no, but they, they, they're the actually getting paid too yeah exactly yeah, uh, they yeah have, i mean, they, I mean most getting of our paid players here they're either studying or working so uh, you yeah, don't that, have the time to exactly exactly uh but denmark is gonna start on the uh what was it attack attack, attack. attack on yes. border attack on border so ladies and gentlemen we are loading in soon enough but if you're gonna have to do a prediction because you said this one is gonna be a tough one. I think so, yeah. But if you have to, you have a, you have a gun. I mean, you have a gun to reach your head, I bro. Mean, what you gonna do about? Okay, what you gonna do about? What you gonna do about it? To my cast. Who's your shoes? On my Sweden's border day. Uh, I was I would say Sweden actually. Uh, we saw them last season. Had a really strong border then. Think that if they if they even like slightly uh, adapted Lion. Maybe together with one of the supporting Doka Bay or Yakal, I think they're going to have an amazing attack. And we already know from last season that they can defend it and not too much have changed. Hmm. A few operators might have like s rotated into the meta. We have seen a little bit of Mute and a little bit of uh, Vigil. Hmm. But to be honest, Vigil is not too far from Ella. Um, so I wouldn't be too surprised seeing that picked up by either Traco or Spoit. Both handled fairly similarly. It's a three speed. Uh, the only real difference is the Gadget. And uh, that gadget just is, so is the weapon to be very is the weapons kind of similar as well to the old yeah. Ella. Or uh, it, it. It's not as powerful. Uh, the the old Ella was, as Ubisoft self then like themselves said, a mistake in <laughs> in some sense. <laughs> okay. Well, it was just it was just that good. It was like if you remember back when like COD Modern Warfare 2, the ump killed in three shots, and everybody was just like, "This is a mistake," <laughs> and everybody was just like, "Yeah," and that's why we're gonna play it. Whoops. Well, that is going to be the case, ladies and gentlemen. We are loading into the map right now. We did actually get that information right here. But uh, if you would like to, if, if you're just going rant, what is the both of the teams all or whatever? Let's let's talk about that a little bit later on, because right now we are going to jump into the game. <laughs> if you take a look at the name from the Swedes, it's congratulations. I mean, gotta give them, <laughs> gotta give them props for it for playing with us the casters as well it's it's lovely to see that they react and they listen and look to the yeah, but they love the they, they love the uh, engage engagement from us as well but like right now we're gonna jump into the first round here in the upper final remember uh, norway is playing against finland in the uh, lower semi so whoever wins there is gonna face off against the loser here and obviously the winner here is gonna be qualified to the playoffs and last season it wasn't it wasn't until like last qualifier where Sweden actually managed to get one team into the qualifier. I think. Yeah. Or if 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 it was a third one. I'm not uh, 100 percent sure. Yeah, but third third. Either way, fourth. it was take it took a long time before Sweden managed to it get did, into the it playoffs. It, it took us a very long time actually to see a team qualifying all the way. But I mean I think that this is the team that if we ever have a Swedish team qualifying, I think this will be the one once more. Yeah, they did win. The only Swedish team and they managed to win. And uh, something that I'm a little bit interested in, though, here is that we last season uh, we saw that there was mostly Vito and the Spoit roaming a lot, and then we have we ha we almost always had either Traco or um, Lobade and then Fallin playing sort of anchors uh, mm -hmm. a lot. And instead now, instead of giving the roamer roles to the ones that played it last season, they've taken them away and put them on the two new members of the team. So it's going to be very interesting to see how they how the rest of the team kind of works out with that uh, new sort of play style having to switch up what characters they like to play the most. 
Well, and here we go, Benja Master. Do uh, should be recognizing at least one of the Swedish players being close by. It's gonna be Milan. Traco kills Vitaline, which is a mistake. But I think that was um, just unfortunate. I think it yeah. wasn't it wasn't really a plan, obviously. Um, but here we go. Traco did manage to get a vision from one of the players. Not being able to connect the shots and Milan. Well, he trades it out. So it's gonna be a four on four all of a sudden. Uh, I think it was just like miscommunication. One of them was running back from one on peak, and the other one was trying to open up a new peak. So suddenly you're one teammate less. But this is going very well for Sweden so far. They've All because turned of out Milan. two people, and like the only kill from the Swe or the only death on Swedish time was Swedish side was self-made. Yep, and here we go, Draco going aggressive. We'll be able to find that frag. Not only that, but Ying is going to try to use the flashes to perhaps. Rush into the area right here. Oh, there we go. Oh, the pre-fire hole. That was moist. Yeah, the, hey, that was... <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good yeah one. thank you. Yeah, the pre-fire that was in perfect. <coughs> like, this flash came out. He saw him before he ran in, and this is going to be a very easy plant for Denmark. Perfect play by Jing here. Using all of her candelas together with the smokes just in order to provide cover for the for the thermite here. And it's going to be see how Sweden decides to retake it. Oh, but from Ticket Booth. Spoit comes around with two kills, and that's the round. Wow. But I, I, I'm, I'm not really surprised that uh, Sweden managed to win the round. No. I'm more a little bit surprised that Denmark was allowed to get the diffuser down. Yeah. And, I mean, it, it doesn't matter as much as it does in, for example, CSGO, where you get a lot of money from it. Exactly. But it can still be like it, it can still be a knack in your confidence, because they got a fairly easy kill on the smoke there, given though it was perfectly played by Ying. Waited for both of the candelas to go out, and then you're smoking off, getting the diffuser down. Very well played. Then, unfortunately, Ticket Booth wasn't reinforced, so they had a very easy wall to get sprayed through, resulting in two deaths fairly quickly. So, I mean, both sides there playing very very well i think that if the if denmark wanted to win that they needed to rotate at least one more player into blue or showers as some people call it mm. and to have more of a cross uh cross angle because point was fairly easily picking up both there from the same angle yep and now we do have that castle being played perhaps sweden did listen in to uh or denmark listen in and they're gonna be the one playing castle this time but I, one thing that I mentioned with Cromwell was that the way that Denmark sets up for the defense, I mean, it's literally every operator is just for defense. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, sure, they're on the defense. Obviously, they're going to play defense. You, you get what I mean. But at the same time, they're not going to use a vigil. They're not going to use those uh, three speeds operators. They're just going to go in for the full on defense just to make sure to secure a little bit extra, I guess. Yeah, it's it's a little bit weird. I mean, they do have the Jagger that's the three speed, but for the rest of them, it, I, I don't really... I mean, it might be because they want to have a very stable top hold because that's what we saw a lot on the Oregon. They oh, were going true. very yeah. stationary for their top holds uh, instead of having for Sweden, for example, when they defend, they prefer to have a very a lot of roamers running around, not so much like having two different sites to hold. And instead, we see Denmark wanting to kind of reinforce two sites at the same time, uh, the top site and the bottom site, and putting the bomb bombs on one of them, so they have control more of the map at the same time. And it's just a, another way to play. And it's very interesting to see how they play it out. Yeah, but they were going long distance shot from Tareko, being able to find that frag pretty early into the round as well. And there we go once again. It's going to be a line scream. And the question is if there will be more attack going on in this few seconds. I mean, Sweden does have a lot of time to uh, go aggressive, but something that I saw when they played against the Finns was that they they like to be that little bit more aggressive team. They don't have to wait it out. They don't have to, you know, find and execute. They, they already have their game plan before even going into the game. And here we go with the kill. It's going to be Torte Guten and Shulko. Oh my god. That was three really fast frags, and that is going to put a stop to the Swedish attack right now. The well, question is if they're going to be able to go in for the rotation. Milan finds the kill. He has been performing out of his mind as well in the first game. Now the question is if Tareko is going to be able to do anything right around the corner. Oh my god! Moist actually turned away from that point, but managed to uh, get his cross here in time for the battle. Now Milan, he's been, some, as I was saying, performing out of his mind, but this one, one on three, kind of tough against their Mira, the castle, and obviously the uh, the smoke. Uh, C4 missing there, very unfortunate. Very possible though, and I think it's, I think we have a little bit of a problem here in the Swedish lineup that they're not droning out for each other as much. Uh, we see Milan, for example, like droning out for himself. Now he's the only one alive, so 
he doesn't have much of a choice, but at the same time, ooh, gets the headshot. No, he didn't get the headshot on the Ethereum, weird. And gets the pick though, so now it's a one versus one, which is very interesting. Um, but yeah, I don't think that they have the synergy anymore with the droning and all of that. The information game from Sweden has become much weaker since we saw them last time. Yeah, and there we go, there's a camera, but uh, Milan will be able to get that. But that also give, gave his position out, so Castle now is in the advantage right here because he has full HP. If you take a look at Blackbeard, and there we go, should be an easy frag, and there we go. Denmark picking up their first round, and I'm a little bit surprised here. I mean, uh, Sweden did have a really good attack, but it's just those... I'm not sure, perhaps going a little bit too aggressive when you kind of feel you you know when you get that moment like shit you know guys let's just fucking push in let's just get it in and do whatever we want to do to them um but at this time i, I kind of feel like totten guden and shuko the way that they stopped that with that crossfire out of his mind yeah and uh, i think torben guden was actually not really a part of the crossfire it was only shoko holding there on his own on the top there uh, it was very interesting to see because we saw one of the players being able to you know, sneak past him onto the lockers then like going out peeking at the same time with Thermite doing an excellent work but Shoko was just too good he got them both very quickly with one spray perfectly played with that Jaeger and that kind of won them the round to be honest mm -hmm. and here we go now though we do have the bomb side B as we've been talking about before uh, a lot in season one actually the there's only a window literally behind uh in the way between the uh, outside from the attackers to the bomb so uh, a little bit of a strategy here the one thing that we can obviously expect is an upper defense yeah and now that we talked about sweden liking roamers a lot it seems that they might actually go for the same sort of strategy where they go for a very solid top hold using the castle in the bathroom is a quite interesting strategy it might be just so that they will not get pushed from that wall also opening up the wall in the back so that they can roam there maybe for a little bit of a safe place and it's gonna be s interesting to see if they try to yeah they they seem to be opting to hold uh, within the locker area not so much the rest of the point uh, on the upstairs and I think it's gonna be opened up a lot in the floor here for them so they can all peek down onto the attackers when they're trying to jump jump through that window instead of being caught onto the point Yep, and here we go with Castle. It's going to be Traco playing Castle. Going around trying to just find some drones. Opening up a uh, pretty decent wall there. Just a hole in the in the roof for the uh, for the teammates there. And giving him a little bit more space to work on. But he's going to be the one just making sure that there's not going to be an attack coming from above. Because I kind of feel like the, that's what Denmark wants to do. It, it's very common, especially when you have these side of, uh, type of points where you're on the bottom floor and you have a top floor which can be breached or open. Yeah. You're very, very usually see like the buck here coming in together with some other soft breachers in order to open up some floor, get some quick peeks. And here we go, the Traco falling down is very, very dangerous now for the rest of the Swedish lineup since now the top hold is no longer secure. And it's going to mean that this buck is going to go to town. Benya Master is going to just open up the whole floor, getting a lot of free peeks onto Sweden. It's going to be very dangerous for them to peek all of the new axes coming up. Yep, and now it all comes down to it. It's 1 minute and 30 seconds left before the uh, diffuser needs to be on the ground and active. At this point, though, it's going to be Benja Master going a little bit aggressive here just to try to figure out a position. You should be able to see someone being down instead. And there's a... S oh, that's the C4. Perfectly played from uh, what he wanted to be called Loiko. Uh, so he finds that frag with the C4 and falls back to his position. And forces it down once again to a 4 and 4. But this time, Mira is going to be taking a little bit of damage. I think Milan is going to be there to help try to help out. Takes down the drone. And that is going to be it, literally. As right now, it all comes down once again to Denmark, how they want to attack. They've opened up some uh, holes at least, but I'm not sure. I mean, they, they, they are getting ready to go down, but they don't have any sort of information about where the Swedes are. I think they know about li perhaps one or two players. Yeah, they've seen Jäger roaming around, so they don't know that he's not on site. And they've seen a few other people on site, but not confirming their positions. Here we go, the spot going down too, Yeppi. The planter is also going down. And uh, there we go, the, now the lion comes in. I wonder why they didn't use it too much, but it seems like they're opting to go for the Lion on the Afterplant. Milano coming out with a really nice kill on his own, and there we go, the battle's going out with LG, actually. Loiko being the one coming out on top, that's very surprising. 
Yeah, Maneva going toward Nguyen, trying to come up from behind. He is above. Should be able to get a pretty easy frag here. Yep, that is going to be it. Loiko is going down. On late. And, uh, there we go with Jeffy. Finds one, finds two. And that is a perfectly played attack coming in from Denmark. Taking the lead 2-1. to one. Yeah, it, very well played here by the Thatcher. Just entering the site, going in, planting quickly together with the Jing, <coughs> using the Lion for the after plant in order to scout out where the rest of the Swedish players will be attacking from. And yeah, it's perfectly played by the attacking side. The, the defense might want to opt to do a little bit more what they did in Season 1, where they kind of strategically put two or three people on the top side. Mm. Uh, this time we only saw the castle, and when the castle went, like when he got downed, as soon as he got down, the rest of the Danish lineup just went out to the top floor, opened up the floor, opened up the hatches, and kind of started picking Swedish players off wherever they wanted. Because Sweden had to not only peek up, but there was like one or two players pushing them from below as well, which made it so that the battles were held in like multiple positions at the same time. And that's exactly how you want to try to attack a team like Sweden. Yeah, and it worked out. Denmark is in the lead once again. He's going to move into the defense. And at this point, though, on the attacking side, we can see a glass. So uh, this is going to be... How important, do you, th uh, in your opinion, do you think that glass is on this sort of map? Because, I mean, there is really close walls, which means that you perhaps are going to have to open up some walls. The, the execute here is going to be very interesting. And this is the L hall that we talked a lot about last season. Um, how important is glass, for you, would you say, in this map? I think that uh, if they go for the execute that they seem to be opting for right now, he's like he's crucial. Because if I read Sweden correctly here, they want to go for a B push fairly quickly and then use the glass as an after plant to hold the diffuser uh, from far away. And that is going to make it so that both Ying and Glass here are two vital characters in this push when they're coming in here. All right, here we go with the line, trying to uh, get a drone out, trying to spot something. Benja Master. He's gonna try to uh, get a little bit of damage done here, not being able to connect any shots, I believe, or is it? So Thatcher, I think, has been uh, taking a little bit of damage. The question is if it was from a Jagger or not, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. Glass is gonna try to just go in for the scouts, being able to see a little head peek out there. That could perhaps give some information about how they want to go in for the defense here. Yeah, I think now that they've confirmed the L-hole, L -hold, um, they're just gonna go for the yeah, they're gonna go for the catwalk here, which is very, very good, very well played by them. This is exactly what they should do. They should try to go for this uh, this catwalk here, not fight the L holds as much as they need to. Just be aware that there might be roamers from that site, and then try to plant the bomb as close to the bookshelf here to the left as we as they possibly can, and then play the glass as far behind as. The as they can with a couple of smokes in order to hold the diffuser and that should be a game for Sweden. Well, there we go. Be the line is going to be glass being able to get the first one. Once again, it's going to be a team kill. Spoit. It's going to be unfortunately nading his teammate down. Benjamin Master comes in with a trade frag. Shoko once again in a perfect position. Leaves only Hibana. It's going to be Traco. He's not easy to kill though, but it doesn't matter. Shoko is going to say, no, you're, you're or you are going to be easy to kill. And he's going to be going down. Kind of looks like Denmark is having the control of this game right now. Yeah, I think they have a very, very interesting way of uh, giving away information uh, to the Swedish team and then kind of taking it back. So we saw a lot of people uh, firing off fairly early there, so we know exactly where Bandit was like very early into the round when they were spraying through the mirror window. And then we saw some other people also just giving away their position. But Sweden, I think once again, we saw a little bit uh, of lack of droning. Uh, they did mm. not... From what I saw when they attacked this, they didn't know where a lot of the Danish team was, even though they've given up so much information mm. uh, by just like shooting their guns, making a lot of no noise on the map. And it made it so that it was a little bit of a clumsy push. We saw that they didn't really check their corners. Mm. Two of them going in at the same time should have a good crossfire, but at the same time, none of them checked the corners, got instantly punished by Shoko, and that just was a perfect pickup by him. Yeah, and uh, this is exactly perhaps something you ta mentioned as well. Something very important is that Sweden doesn't have that sort of in-game leader or the leader per se that could actually do those sort of calls. Like, guys, make sure to check your corners. Make sure that you get, get each other up. Make sure to drone each other forward. Like, r literally helping each other out. Uh, one thing that I would like to mention for you guys, the viewers, is that uh, we do have a raffle going on right now for some uh, for, for a HyperX bundle. Uh, what you need to do is just exclamation mark raffle in the chat. What you can win is a, pull fi a Pulse Fire FPS. 
and a uh, Fury uh, Hyperx Fury a medium gaming mouse pad. All you need to do exclamation mark raffle in the chat and uh, after the game it's gonna be drawn and it's gonna be a winner. So make sure to be uh, try to be one. Try to be one of them. Let's try, try to be the winner. Oh, oh there we no, go. No. Milan first. I, I mean, even though Sweden is in the an under advantage here or whatever you want to call it. Milan is performing round after round, even though it's just one kill. It's very important kill. It's an early kill as well. But at this point, he's gonna take a little bit of damage, I believe. Yes, he does. He tried to go in for a second peek here. The question is, he he has he has the map knowledge for sure, definitely. Yeah. Every angle he shakes, he instantly knows that there should be someone there. Yeah, so does the rest of these players. I just think that they go they're a little bit too confident at the moment not really looking for yeah. all of the information that they should be looking for and that kind of screws them over and i think that's why we're seeing milan now doing way better than the rest of his peers uh, i think that since he's able to roam a lot and the rest of the team is kind of supporting me in the back he's more much more confident checking all of the angles because he knows where people are and people are aren't on the map mm -hmm. and it, it just makes for such a beautiful play yeah, and here we go vita line is going to be the one of the key players here oh my god sploit with a C4, that is a beauty! And not only that, but Mira is gonna push it out! Should be able to get that frag, does it, and now it's all down to Shoko. And that is gonna be a very, very weird situation for the Dan Danes. And they're not gonna be sure how to uh, react to this, because there are seats gonna get run over. Shoko finds one of them, but Traco well, is in the back with a shotgun, and it's not gonna be easy to try to run away from him. But at this point, Sweden coming back into the game, it's gonna be a 3-2 scoreline. And I think it, it, here we see like the old Sweden, instant communication. Like as soon as Mira saw that at least two people were there, they were just like, oh, come on, <laughs> you need to see four right now. They are in the little corner over there in the CCTV room and boom, two people, two people goes down instantly, yeah. which lets the Mira just roam out, instantly pick down the Thatcher and all of a sudden Shoko is alone in the Danish team. It's That's exactly how we saw Sweden play last time they came around. They yeah. were insane on the information game, constantly calling exactly where the enemy team were for their for each other and then we had the top three people or the top um i don't know star players it, mm. three star player doesn't make a team but they were the ones getting the frags yeah definitely i mean you, that's the support players as well i mean the support players as you mentioned the information game if you can play that and it doesn't matter if you have support if you're the support role i mean if you can give information that is the most key to really win the game or to yeah. actually just win a round and especially now since Sweden is down 3 to 2 was down 3 to 1 that means that the, there was a uh, almost almost a match point there for Denmark for a while uh, but here we go ladies and gentlemen we do have another tweet coming from Retro John sees go I love your tournament keep up the good work dude Thank you so much. Keep up those good tweets and make um, keep them common because we do have a giveaway for you guys as well. All you need to do is use to head in, head on to twitter.com slash king of Nordic, hit the follow button, and then send us a tweet. Your best tweet using hashtag king of Nordic. If you do that, well, that means that you are entered in to win a uh, HyperX Fury large gaming mouse pad. So do that. And you have the chance to win. Yeah, and we see the attack coming in here from... Sweden. It's going to be really interesting to see how they choose to attack this time because they, they opted for a lot of ranged soft breach, both with the Sophia and the Buck. But then they have sort of one of a little bit of a fragger, I would think that they will put Blackbird as. Not completely sure though, um, since he doesn't push a lot with the rest of the team. Sport coming on with the Habana is going to try to get the mirror window, but I think we should have the bandit trick going after it. Yeah, Benya Master knows when to time versus the Hibana flowers. Very well played there. Flash coming in here, going to go for a second try. So does the... Oh, second flash hits very, very nice there. Lion coming in as well. It's going to see if... Oh, the wall didn't actually open up. They didn't take the advantage of using the flash at the same time. Oh, not only that, but Jordan Guden has been t picking up two quick frags, which is going to be very important for this run. That means that Denmark can move on and perhaps go into a match point. This point's point is going to try to go in for the peak here. Oh, goes down to very low HP. Try to go in for the pre-fire. Not being able to connect the shots via the line. Once again, being able to take the trade frag there. Twitter and Guden has been um, really handling his weapon at this point because he's got a double kill already to his name in this round. Four on three situation. If you take a look at the HP as well, Sophia and Hibana down a very low HP. That means that Blackbeard is going to be the only one who can really help him out, perhaps. At this point, shouldn't it be clever to, you know, get down, get him up, get up again? Either that, or I would actually 
opt for something completely different here. They ha already have Blackbeard in the in the uh, bus window or vehicle window. They would oh, Benya Master coming in with a spoil. That makes the whole situation much much more com uncomfortable for Sweden. Oh no. Ooh. Yep. Loki going down as well. I what I wanted to do there, I would have Blackbeard still being in the vehicle window, putting Vito line to get the diffuser and then rotate around to B. Having Spoit there, since he's low, just have him hold an angle. He's not gonna win a running trade fag, trade frag yeah, with yeah, that HP. Yeah, exactly. There's yeah. no, there's no way. Yeah. Well, there we go. Though Vito line's gonna be able to at least find one of them. Try to go in for a fast uh, sort of uh, angle checking, uh, corner checking style. Not being able to. Uh, do that in his favor because uh, Jeffy in a very very uh, well simple frag so to speak. Um, uh, yeah, and here we have a tweet coming in from the other caster Krumval. Uh, well, I do enjoy some good castle plays. Hashtag King of Nordic. I think I'm not sure, but I think I kind of think that tweet was for you. I, I think so. I, I mean, as soon as you can utilize any operator well, that is extremely well done by the players. Uh, however, Ubisoft. So I just happened to accidentally release another sort of stat where they ranked the operators and uh, yeah. Newsflash, Castle is still the worst one. Um, oh, is he though? He is. Are you sure? No. Because no, Tashank exactly. Tashank is in the bottom, but he's yeah, not Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he's still the worst. Oh, dude. I thought you were the fact, man. But it doesn't matter. If Denmark is on match point and we do have Sweden with the defense. We know that they can defend. But we do know that Denmark can attack as well. So this one, it all comes down to this one, ladies and gentlemen. Is Sweden going to be able to move on and play the attacking game once more? Or is it going to be Denmark going in with the attack that Sweden is not ready for? Well, that is a question. It's going to be 10 seconds left now to uh, before we are going into the action phase. What are your prediction? Do you think that Denmark will be able to go in for the attack here? Because even though Sweden, they had a pretty decent defense, actually. They do, and a little bit interesting here, seeing Doc, first of all, uh, not really used that much. They're going for kind of the same hold that they did last time, except for switching it up with a Doc. And now they do have two people on the upstairs hold, so I hope that we see a much, much more confident Sweden on the top hold, now that Denmark will opt. I would almost guarantee you that they are going to opt to go for that same attack that they did last time, in order to open up all of the... So um, all of the roamers or the top hold, so that they don't get flanked from that point. But at the same time, it would be possible now for Denmark to just rush five people into the side when they don't have that many players currently located on, for example, B here. It mm -hmm. would take a little bit of a coordination with nades and also the Lion drone coming in as a key op key component of that. But yeah, okay, they are going to go for the top high. So it's all about now Sweden actually being able to hold this. Um, that is going to be a tough task, but it's going to be at least a two-on-two -two situation on the on the top of the floor here. Um, so it all comes down to the duels, I would assume. This is on the uh, floor where the bomb is, and obviously we do have a dock being played. Here we come in with a spray from Thatcher. It's going to be played by Tordingjuden. And now the question is if they will be doing something about this. The castle doors, or whatever you want to call it, it's going to be there, but... Uh, yeah. I'm not sure at this point. Denmark's still taking some time before going in. I, I kind of like it, but I kind of also feel like they're a little bit scared about how many there is actually above, like on the top floor. Yeah, I don't think that they feel completely comfortable with whatever is going on here, since they don't, they don't have a confirmation about where the Swedish people are holding from upstairs, since they haven't been able to push them so well so far. Yeah. But at the same time, like some of them have already dropped beat line though, picking up a quick one, being refried by the Venia Master. So now it's four on four. I think it's all going to come down to this dock, being able to just really reinforce the point here. Yeah, and here we go. It's going to be some frags going back and forth. It's going to be a two on three situation after Milo finds the kill on the Venia Master. And now with this uh, on the, the uh, news flash. Well, and it's going to be low HP on the Dan Danes, uh, the Danish players. I haven't really learned that yet. Denmark, Danes, Danish, Danish. Yeah, Damn. a lot of variation. Yeah, there is actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the, Swe the Swedes, whatever the, the Swedes. Swedes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, here we go with the peak coming in. It's going to be a good peak there from Traco. Not a tough one at all. But that also leaves uh, Spoit to be able to bring down Shoko. And uh, once again, it, it's still match point for Denmark. We do know Sweden having a little bit of problem on their attacking side. 
uh, the defense was worked out at this point, but uh, now they're going to move into the attacking side. Is it going to go into overtime, or is it going to be Denmark being qualified for the playoffs? We do have another tweet coming in, though. Stop distracting me from my assignment, or I'll play Castle in ranked. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm fairly sure that this is my friend's Twitter. Ooh. Because he nicks, he, nicks his, he nicks Moose in, like, every game ever when we play with him. So I'm not 100% sure, but damn. You should not do that. That Like, don't be that person. Don't be that person. There's so many operators. Did you see what they did with the pools? You, you, you guys, as viewers, you do know that you can tilt Luva like crazy. Just mention Castle in your tweet to hashtag King of Nordic, and he's going to be... You will be uh, banned for toxic reasons. <laughs> he's going <laughs> <he's gonna> to go <laughs> flip side. All right, well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The last round of the original game. It doesn't matter which way it goes. Is if it's uh, Denmark picking it up, well, they are going to go to the qualifier, then they and they are going to tweet us using the hashtag King in order to sell us. You know what? <sighs> We're in the qualifier. But uh, the Swedes are not going to give up. This Swedish team, well, three of them, was the winning team of the season one. So you have to take that into consideration. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The set setup phase is done. The action phase is going to be what's happening right now. And it's going to be three minutes until we... Oh, my God. Traco taking down Milan. Very, very dangerous for them there. Uh, uh, yeah, Benja Master a little bit surprised there. I'm um, not sure if uh, Sweden has some sort of plan of that was just literally like, you know what, fuck you. Yeah, that, <laughs> like, that is also, I think they, they were trying to shoot out the camera. And once again, they're not as... Oh, uh, yeah, they're not careful. Oh. Yeah, they're not as careful and they're not as synchronized as they were before. Now oh, that they're going into this. wants to kill someone. <laughs> they're doing a Louvre, says Thank our you. producer. Yeah. I want to kill someone. <laughs> Screw you! <laughs> well, we that go, could be very bad. This this could be extremely bad for Sweden. But interesting though. Oh, oh my you god! Benya me. Master winning the game for them <laughs> there and then. I would actually want to say because oh my, I think that this Montang really really needed those players to roam around in order for the for them to win this round. And now that two of them got instantly picked down by Benya Master, it's just it's just game. Holy shit, guys. Well, that is going to be the case. Benja Master. And that, yeah, that lit li literally was the game. Um, holy shit, man. Some some very quick runs. And I think none of these teams really performed bad. I think that there was um, just some stupid fucking mistakes. I totally agree with you. I mean, there, there, but that could be a common reason as well. One thing that I would like to mention, though, for the Swedish team... Be a little bit more careful. Like, yeah. like I think it was like three, perhaps even four team frags in this game. Uh, yeah, at least three. At least three. Yeah, I mean, at, at least t take it a little bit easy. Uh, but, yeah, as you can see here, we do have Greek gods and they are ready for the playoffs and they were the high seed winners. For those of you who bet Denmark on our Facebook poll, the lives poll, um, well, you did have a chance to uh, pick up 600 Rainbow Six Siege credits and a HyperX Fury uh, XL gaming mouse pad. Um, so uh, we are going to just random select one of them and then we are going to send it out to who is going to be the winner. And that's we are going to do after this game. Um, here we do have a tweet. It looks like Egedal Gaming isn't going to be the only damage Danish team in the finals. Here we go. DK power just be better. Just better. Mm. Just better. Yeah, I guess so far so be the case. like so far so true. That actually that's a, yeah that is. Uh, now though we do have the Finnish team being out um, and uh, they can't really do anything anything more now. It's gonna be Sweden versus Norway in the next one. As you saw, it's gonna be the congratulations guys versus Endurance Gaming, and. Uh, it's kind of like the final all over again, but in a best out of one. All over again, yeah. In a best out of one and with some roster change. It's going to be very interesting to see. Let's see how they are going to do that. But we do have the raffle that we are going to give out. It was a bundle. It was a Pulse Fire FPS and a uh, HyperX Fury Medium Gaming Mousepad. Uh, and the winner in the Twitch chat is... Dun -dun 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 -dun. Milan's. Milan's. Hey, it's one of the players. It's the Swedish guy. It's the Swedish guy. It's one of Dude, the the one we've been watching? talking about. Are you? Yeah, I really hope. I really hope it's like your girlfriend or your little brother in another complete room sitting on your account typing on your Twitch. Just saying. 
But we do have a delay. Uh, we have, we have a delay, so yeah, there's I no know, problem. But, but still, I mean, uh, I mean, I, I could th- enter then. I mean, you, you could, <laughs> you could. But I mean, it's it's <laughs> not the I same thing so. when the players enter, right? Okay, whatever. They're still sitting Congratulations there. to uh, Milan's. Uh, we uh, head us up with a whisper here on uh, uh, Twitch, and we are gonna send you all the information about how we're gonna do this and so on. Obviously, we do have another raffle coming up for you guys, and it's gonna be for six hundred Rainbow Six Siege credits. All you need to do: type exclamation mark raffle in the chat right now. And um, I think that's it from the first uh, first. Third, sorry, third, third team, third team coming into the qual, uh, to the qual. Uh, no, no, uh, this is playoffs. the second. No, yeah, it is the, the third. third team. It's the third. Yeah, right. It's the it's second high seed. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Exactly. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, but uh, we're gonna take a short break. When we're back, we're gonna take a look at Sweden versus Norway. It's gonna be a congratulations versus Endurance Gaming. Hopefully not on border. Hopefully not on Oregon. Hopefully consulate. We'll see you then. My name is Glenn. Me chiamo Simone. Je m'appelle Corentin, j'ai 21 ans. Joel, I'm 26. I usually play after work or whenever I get some free time, so whenever my friends are online. I try to play at least every night. I think that you have to keep a certain level. Before I start to play, I usually close the door and I dedicate myself to the game. The only thing uh, is that I close uh, my PlayStation from the TV and then close my table and close my monitor and where I always play. Before I play, I prepare the water, turn on the phone, close the phone, take the headphones, take the pad. So I've got friends from all over, from Germany, France, Amsterdam, America, some even in Australia. And we all use Discord to get together. There's loads of servers up. I enjoy Rainbow Six just because of the pure amount of ways you can uh, approach situations. La coordination is fundamental. Weil es einen taktisch etwas fordert. Ich aime beaucoup le fait que la meta change tous les trois mois. Mio operatore preferito è il Bandit. Dal primo giorno che ho acceso il gioco ho scelto subito lui. J'aime beaucoup Blackburn avec son bouclier. Im Angriff ähm, bin ich eher so ein bisschen derjenige, der pusht so nach vorne. Also das eignet sich Ash natürlich äh, super und Buck. Ash has got to be one of them to play. Although in terms of sort of backstory and sort of design, I've got to say Sledge. Also erinnerungswürdige Momente sind natürlich, wenn man selber gut gespielt hat oder wenn man ein Ace gemacht hat oder sowas. Ne? È una quintupla di C4, fatta in una ranked, in una classificata, che non, non potevano crederci. Les 800 heures de jeu, ça m'a franchement apporté beaucoup de choses. J'ai rencontré beaucoup de personnes. The community are outstanding. I love the Rainbow Six. Everyone is so committed to Rainbow Six as a whole.
Welcome oh. back. <laughs> All right. Our producer is uh, one of the best. Mm, not. Thank you. Because I'm usually the yeah, producer. Yeah, yeah, usually. You're sitting usually. here now. So who's the produ producer now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure, Apparently, sure. we, we blame someone else. <coughs> Welcome back out, though. We do have our first uh, team in this qualifier going to the playoffs. It's uh, the Greek gods, the GG, uh, the Danes. The Danes? Uh, going to the, the playoffs. Yeah, the Danes. I guess, I guess, yeah. The Denmark. Denmark Danes, Danes. Team Denmark. Team Denmark. Da -da 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 -da. Anyway. <laughs> This is just because of this one, right? Okay, <laughs> whatever. Uh, welcome back once again. Uh, we do have uh, some raffles going on right now in the chat. I was thinking we do have one extra to give up, I, I believe. Um, another one. Another, another one. Another so we one. could perhaps draw one now before the game. One more. And then start another one during the game. I think another we can do one. that. As DJ Khaled once said. Another one. Another one. All right, so we are going to draw a one winner now. Um, be fast enough. If you're not fast enough, <laughs> you have to enter next time. Um, but Aww. but you're going to do that. But, ladies and gentlemen, on our Twitter, what you need to do uh, to win a uh, mouse pad, what's, well, literally, you need to go into twitter.com slash kingofnordic, hit the follow button, but, but no. Uh, and then you need to be send in your t best tweet uh, using hashtag King of Nordic. And if you do that, someone you can win the mouse pad. You get my point. You get the idea. Free mouse pad. All you need to do is just tweet hashtag King of Nordic. I mean, who wants free stuff? Honestly. What? I love free stuff. It's just hard to get. Right? It's like, <laughs> oh my god. Do I have to press a button for free stuff? <laughs> nah, dude. Oh, do I need to talk to people? Nah. Like, nah literally. Technically, you don't even need to talk. You need to type. No, but I like in real life. <laughs> Well, this is real life, but I mean, okay, whatever. Um, uh, but struggles. Let's let's take a look at the bracket now because I would like to just walk through what's happening so far, and obviously I would like to get a little bit loose once again here, Sweden versus Norway. But this is what's happened so far. Greek gods, uh, they are in the playoffs. One with five to three over. Congratulations, which was which was the Swedish team, but. I kind of felt like Sweden was on their way back, but there was a little bit of a um, miscommunication, yeah. perhaps. Mi mishap, in the mishap a few times. I, I think that uh, one of Sweden's main problems, we saw them a lot uh, last, like, no, we didn't see them a lot. We saw them shine, really, last season. And uh, the difference between that Swedish lineup and this one is that they had uh, some really good in-game leading, I think. Um, and I think that they... The problem with Sweden's lineup now is that they've switched out a in-game leader and a support player. Because yep. in Siege, support actually exists. In CS, it's just like a term for being bad, but it's like, I'm the support player for the team. No, you're just bad. Feels bad, man. Uh, in support, in Siege, it actually exists. You play the drones, you play operators like uh, maybe Lion, maybe you have some Doka Bay to really scout out the rest of the enemy team with your gadgets. That is so vital for the rest of your team that is the fraggers to just be able to open up the site and go in and either clean the team or plant the bomb. Hmm. And I think that last time they had Lobody and Fallen in those really good key positions. And now we see Mil Milton? Milton. Milton. M uh, Milan. 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 Right. My brain and understanding ladders easy uh he's also one of those star players from what from what i've seen he, like he doesn't he's not the one that really wants to stay back in spawn and drone for the rest of his team in order to let them enter site and you know go ham he also he wants to be there like shoulder by shoulder mm. going into the site really really frag and he does that really really well but mm. the problem is that we already had three of those players on the swedish lineup and now we have another one and I think that is the problem so far. Yeah, definitely. I mean, not only that, but we th they are facing off against Norway, the Endurance Gaming. And these two teams did fight it off in the playoffs. So what can you tell the difference now? The Norwegian team that came on second spot and the Norwegian team that we have now in the qualifier. I think that uh, Endurance are a little bit rusty at the moment. We can see them do some mistakes or maybe they're trying out the new meta a little bit. Because they don't seem to have the same communication problem that Sweden does. They still seem to have fairly much that the roles that they were playing when they were playing in the season one as well. Mm. But they seem to either not really understand um, who should pick Lion, where do we place Lion, where do we point him out. Because they were shying away a lot during like their first games from the meta. They were shying away a lot from it. Both 
on the defender side and the attacker side actually mm. and it was a little bit interesting to see maybe that is what they're trying to do right now they're trying to find out which operators work best in this kind of new shifting meta for us do we want to try to strategize a few new holds versus this lion that is now coming in mm. and i think that's what we saw a little bit of experimental plays that could have paid off really well but didn't in the end all right all right well we uh are we we do have the uh uh, I mean, now since there is new operators coming out, I kind of feel like trying on, uh, trying out a new meta or trying to find a new meta. I think that's totally okay as it long is, as it it's, as long as it doesn't like take damage from your actual competition or no. whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I think it's I think it's okay. But at this time, should we expect endurings to be a little bit more? You know, let's go back to the old meta, or should we expect a still experimental sort of meta just to make sure that they get to the playoffs? Um, I'm I'm not too sure actually, because we saw <coughs> Sweden was kind of working a little bit with the new meta. They were picking up some of the operators, both to counter the new meta and also to play the new meta. Mm. But they are also a little bit um, locked and gone back to the old ones. So mm. we might just see uh, two like more. I don't know. Old might not be the the right word for it, but, but one of the older. older yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, one of the older metas coming out here, and maybe a completely different map than either border or like. Oregon or every, any Hopefully of those. Consulate. Maybe a consulate. Consulate would probably be picked though if one of the teams feels more uh, comfortable with the new meta. Consulate or Bank, both of them are like really strong with the new Lion since you can really dominate the rest of the map mm. with the with the new scan and just like completely find all of the roamers out there. Yeah, well, we do have uh, a lot a great game coming up for you guys, but we do have the raffle in the, the chat. I think we have a winner for that, perhaps. Uh, uh, okay, so we, we are going to apparently go for a winner after the game, uh, even though we have an extra. Okay, whatever. Let's just... Let's just Yes, we do. Uh, but let, let's... Uh, we have uh, given out uh, three of these... Well, this is going to be the third Rainbow Six Siege credits that we are giving out. And we've also given out a bundle. So, um, yep. Yeah. Exclamation mark raffle in the chat. Uh, do that right now and uh, during the game and after the game. That's when we are going to announce who is the winner. Also on our Facebook and on our Twitter. Um, but now though, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the rosters for both of the teams. And uh, perhaps uh, let Luven loose a little bit here. Which players he feels a little bit more comfortable with. Here we have Endurance Gaming for Norway. It's going to be Kulia Fisk, Chicken Nerd, Lars and Blackout. Now, what can you tell us about this? And what can you tell... What do you expect? Uh... They all kind of play very standard um, solo queue sort of um, operators, and it's not too surprising. A little bit that is interesting is that we see a Twitch and a Thermite, and also a Blackbird, which kind of tells me that they are playing a lot more together with friends than maybe Blackout and Lars when they're playing their uh, their ranked games, which is that could tell us something because I would assume that it would be with this stack so that those three might have a little bit better communications within themselves than perhaps Lars P and Blackout and that might be how this stack is going to try to communicate and play the rounds that Julia Fisk, Chicken Lord and Raffle Mao they're kind of going to go as a squad and one of them is going to be the in-game leader together with Lars P and Blackout kind of following and adapting to the rest of the team. <coughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we are going to face off against the Swedes, and uh, the Swedes' name. Congratulations! And it's Traco, Vidalin, Spoit, Milan, and L18, or what I call him, Lateen. And kind of same here. We see the three, um, the three star players from the old Swedish lineup. They are all also playing very standard uh, solo queuing sort of operators. Three speed. Easy to very well constructed guns, good recall and everything. And then we have Mylon and uh, Lyco or Lateen. Lateen, yeah. <laughs> and something that's sort of interesting is that they actually managed to play uh, Ella a whole lot. And that might be why L18 is having a little bit of a problem on the defense. That one of their operators that they favored the most for that not only was picked a lot by Vidaline, it's also heavily nerfed. So they might be looking for a new position or a new operator to fill that spot with. And uh, Mylon playing both Sledge and Doc a whole lot in, um, in ranked is a little bit surprising as well. Because he's been one of the star players that you would expect seeing a three speed operators on, on like both sides. 
both the attack and the defense since he's been heavily playing that and instead we kind of see him playing one of those with uh, a 2-2 and a 3-1 which is very interesting a one speed and three armor Yep, indeed. So these are the two teams that is going to fight it off for the uh, well for the first, uh, fourth, first. Fourth. What is that? What is first? First, uh, fourth uh, playoff spot. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, with no further ado, let's take a look at the veto and see which map that we are going to be playing for tonight. Sweden is going to start off with their ban, and it's going to be. Border. border all right so perhaps we are going to see if they can start with border perhaps Oregon consulate is gonna be next or something just to you mm. know a little bit of fuck oh there yeah. we go Oregon being hey. gone oh this is interesting honey yeah okay let's see Sweden <laughs> it's gonna be banning cafe okay, okay that's uh, I would actually I'm I wanted maybe to kind of bait out both cafe and skyscraper here since they've already banned like one of the most favored maps in the game and then endurance answered with banning like one of the second most favored maps in the game so start going for the most favored ones in order to guarantee one of those off maps that you really want to play because i can guarantee you that endurance really wants to ban both cafe and coastline maybe skyscraper yeah and the next back there we go bank is gonna get banned is all down to coastline chalet clubhouse and skyscraper and the next ban is gonna be on coastline so um I, I, just my honest thoughts here it's going to be clubhouse right yeah clubhouse would be the most guaranteed choice i would like to see the curveball though of either a chalet here i that was going to see either chalet or skyscraper and then skyscraper got banned and chalet got banned so now it's going to be clubhouse and i mean nothing uncommon solid map but maybe it would have been solid for like sweden for example to pick skyscraper or or chalet which makes it a little bit easier to roam with since mm -hmm. they, they kind of are already like heavily stacked with roamers mm -hmm. four people that really are able to play that sort of roaming role three speed they kind of excel at that really wants to get all of the early frags maybe not really sit as an anchor even though some of them do that as well amazingly mm -hmm. and kind of throw that to norway see how they react is norway going to adapt to that now that they have some new players that they've picked up maybe a new star player coming through that we didn't see last season I mean, the, the, the question is also how Sweden is going to react on it, because even though they perhaps wanted to get a little bit of an off map or whatever you want to call it, perhaps that is something that is going to hurt them as well, because yeah. that means that you are going to have to ban Border. You're going to have to ban Oregon. You're going to have to ban Clubhouse. That's all your thir three bans, for example. So the fourth man is going to try to help out to get the mm. map that you want. But, um, you know, it's the, the opposing team that decides which map is going to be because you're going to have to ban the border and all of those maps. But, ladies and gentlemen, the final game of tonight is going to be played right here, right now. Sweden versus Norway. And at this point, we're going to start at the basement. And kind of old meta already from both of the teams uh, very standard from last season before both lion and finca was released to have um, you didn't always need thermite but thermite is always nice to just like breach up that construction site you almost i want to see like almost always say that you have hibana on this map on the attack no matter where they go or what you do you want hibana on this map because you can open up so much with her that is so pinpoint precision it just helps out the attack so much and for the defense very similar here we have mira just a very solid pick together with smoke two of the best anchors in the game pulls for a roamer also very very solid and then we have that leeson in order to put a lot of the traps in that uh, construction top yeah and here we go already now chicken nerd is kind of going to uh yeah. Was that Hibana? Yep, already opened up the floor here. So there, it looks like there could be a fast aggression coming in from Sweden, starting on the attacking side. Not not open up the floor. Sure what they did there? If they managed to, I think they missed. No, I think right. actually that they, yeah, they did. But I wasn't sure that that was going to work. Interesting. Uh, I think it was Lishan here. He used an impact nade so that he blew up all of the charges because they were too close to the edge. Since they didn't use all of the charges in the middle of the hatch, the, he was able to blow all of them up using another charge of Ibana. That's very well played by them. Very well read from the Endurance Gaming team. Oh, and here we go with Sweden trying to already getting ready to drop down kind of feels like Spoitz Traco is going to find a kill onto Lars that is going to be an early frag it's going to be 1 minute and 53 seconds left already here it's going to be a late team trying to uh, do whatever they can but it's going to be taken down a little bit in low HP because we do have bandits in a very good spot here obviously that is going to give him a little bit of extra room to uh, 
uh, get those information that he needs. Vidalin finds the frag onto Chicken Alert as well, so that's gonna be already two players down. Two kind of important operators, at least for, for the def defense that Endurance Gaming is uh, planning to have here. Um, because Pulls and Mira... Uh, oh, there we go with Smoke, and it's gonna be Leash and the only player remaining. It's gonna be Kulia Fizz finding that frag, but Milan, oh my god, this was a fast round. Insanely fast. And once again, I kind of see what I don't want to see from Sweden. They are not playing their information game right as they were before. I think uh, Leitin was also one of those players that... Um, is kind of a star player. So they've gone from having two really strong to now having five star players instead. Yep. And now we have a tweet here from Jeffy. He was one of the players that went on to play in the playoffs. And he's at GGWP to both of the Norwegian and the Swedish teams. Uh, hope to see congratulations in the playoffs. Hashtag playoffs. Sounds like an NHL here. I mean, it looks looking forward to it. Holy shit. Here we go. Esports is getting big, guys. But here we're coming into the next round. Sweden did win the first round really convincingly. And now the question is if uh, Endurance Gaming will be able to do the same sort of attack style and just go in for the duels. But you, you mentioned something about Sweden not having the information game that they could have had or used to have. No, because if you were looking what happened there uh, when Leitin was kind of pushing, he didn't know where Bandit was, so he accidentally pushed into a Bandit, did survive, um, very lucky, and then kind of started pushing even more towards the Bandit, trying to back out, but the Bandit just had all the inform like all the time in the world to rotate around. There was He w didn't get scouted a single time while he was rotating to the mirror window, getting a second chance to take L18 down. And it just shows that the rest of the people were busy doing something else. And we saw them doing a lot of the fragging from upstairs. But none of them are supporting for each other. Compared to what we see from Norway, what I would assume is going to be here. Now we have Lion, we have a Yakal, and then we have like um, Hibana and Jing. That is probably going to be the two people pushing very heavily into the site. Lion, maybe the glass a little bit in the back. Just to kind of hold off in order to see if there's going to be a roamer quickly. And it's going to be very interesting to see how they're going to attack this site with all of the information that they can get out of this map. Uh, between these two teams, you kind of feel like Norway is the team with a little bit more information and uh, the communication, so to speak, or? Yeah, I would uh, definitely say that. Uh, Norway has kind of picked up a lot of their misuse of communication from what we saw last season. And Sweden, I think, lost their key component in their communication. So it's going to be... It, what's really interesting to me is going to see if we see two of the star players or maybe three kind of stepping down since all of them have such insane potential to just go in and frag but they can't do it without the information it's going to be very interesting to see if two of them or th three of them like just says look guys i will be the one to step down i won't push in very aggressively and early i will drone for you because i know that the rest of you have the potential to do what you need to do yeah exactly but that is going to be the question if sweden is going to think like that because right now, Norway is going to be, as we have been pointing out, attack on the attacking side. Jekyll trying to figure out if there's any roamers out there. Not being able to... Yeah, well, found a little bit of footsteps, but there wasn't really more of that. It was just a, a camera uh, or whatever it was up there. Um, I think it was a trap, perhaps, from Leishan. But it doesn't matter right now. It's 1 minute and 17 seconds left. And we can see that Norway is starting to... Uh, figure out a plan here but it looks like sweden wants to get a get a uh, get aggressive here I, I don't think it's a bad idea perhaps from sweden because they kind of need to uh make up for their lack of communication maybe oh there we go very nice play so sometimes we see them communicate really well or they might just like excel at playing looking for the different sounds for example they're using the c4 but instead we see norway playing a really good information game droning using the dr using the gadgets to get in together it's very nice to see how they use utilizes each other for the rest of the map. Yeah, and here we go. And it looks like Ralph will, uh, would uh, be finding at least one of the kills there, but Kulia Fizz finds the kill on the Draco instead. And here we go with the glass. It's not only that, but it's Kulia Fizz once again with, uh, with glass finding a third frag into this round, and it just clears up. And uh, kind of feels like this is the same sort of attack. Uh, not the same sort of attack, but same sort of dominant, dominant attack coming in from uh, Endurance Gaming. And once again, uh, it's very weird to how Lishan doesn't react fast enough because we know that all of these players, both from Norway and Sweden, they're incredible players and we know that they can react in like a split second. Yet Lishan doesn't turn around as soon as his teammate falls down. And I don't know if it's that they don't have the good communication in comms 
because that should have been like an instant giveaway that he was behind the team. So just calling it out, he's coming from tunnel, I need backup, or maybe he killed me from tunnel, someone needs right. to check him out. And then Lishan just suddenly goes down instantly, and that makes it very awkward for them to push through there. And we see Jäger dropping down because of that reason. <coughs> yep, exactly. I'm excusing my c uh, coughing here, but I am a little bit sick for those of you who've been watching from the beginning. And uh, what you need to do, though, what I can give you, well, I can give you a mouse pad if you want to. All you need to do is just head on, head on to our Twitter, follow King of Nordic on Twitter, and also tweet your best tweet to hashtag King of Nordic. And if you do that, you are uh, in to uh, try to uh, win the uh, mouse pad. And it's, it's a HyperX Fury large gaming mouse pad. So uh, it's not a, it's not a shitty mouse pad for sure, definitely not. But here we go. It's eight seconds left. The setup phase has uh, has started to end. Can you say that? Starting yeah. started to end. Um, but endurance gaming is on the defense now. Sweden once again want to go in aggressive. And I hope now that they <coughs> that they're starting to drone a little bit more for each other because they like they play the attack so well when we see them. Like all of them has potential, but we, you need someone to drone. You need someone to drone this out for the rest of the guys. But I kind of feel like that's not their play style. I mean, if you take a look at the attack, the way mm. that they've gone in for the attack, sure, they should drone for each other, but they they barely have any time for it. I mean, what they do with their drones, it kind of feels like they're just going in for the, you know, let's drone in with at three drones, try to figure out some information. If we can read it off, okay, perfect. This is how they're going to play the defense. Let's just run over them. Yeah, I w actually, if they if they don't want to play with drones, Archmaster they did last season, I would actually want to see an even more aggressive Sweden. Like, because, for example, here, they're kind of holding back. They did hold back because they were shot at this time, though. But, I, I mean, they could have been even more aggressive last time. Like, dropping hatches, opening up all of the floor at the same time. Just really, really going hard onto the defending side. Trying to get every single operator under pressure instantly. And... I think we're missing a little bit of that from Sweden if they want to push that aggressively without drones. Yeah, the question is, oh, he was actually open there. Perfect, got the information about Mira going in for the push, but he's going to be taken down. No, he's actually going to be able to find one of the kills, but it's going to be Jagger trying to use his pistol, not being able to get find that frag either. It's going to be uh, Leighton or Ash being able to find that frag with his pistol instead. Once again, Sweden is going to run over Endurance Gaming. I'm not sure what's going on right now. I think it's a little bit of a combination of them droning for each other, kind of finding out that they will not get information from the rest of their teams. Instead, like, just working on all of their own, like, star potential. And it's just working for them now. Uh, adapting a little bit more. We saw some of them droning for each other, and as soon as, like, they got the first information, started really just putting pressure onto the defending side. And it might be it might be a new Sweden we're seeing. It might be a new sort of playstyle for them to pick up, and it's but sort of But is that going to gonna be enough in the playoffs? I mean... What we saw from the playoffs in season one, there was a lot of tactics, man. I mean, a lot of ways to play, a lot of defenses, a lot of, you know, new ideas. But going this aggressive, and as you mentioned as well, falling back a little bit and just waiting outside. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. I mean, yeah. But we do have a tweet here from uh, for you, Louvre, I guess, because you love Castle. I do. I love him so much because he's such an important operator for to exist oh my god okay wait it's another friend never mind all right read it out loud you need to it's I often a play castle. he's my favorite operator yeah go germany for god <laughs> damn it from the wrong country he he's okay holy from the usa go first for the of rant all, man go for the rant yeah go for my it. god first of all he's from the fbi and second of all god damn it what's up with all of my classmates tweeting in in order to just be like hello haven't seen you in a while would you know what would be funny <laughs> To fucking make you mad again. All of you lovely people from my fucking... God damn it. God damn it, guys. God damn it. Keep on going. Keep them tweets coming. Perhaps you can do the... If you can do the best castle rant. Or castle like, oh, I love castle sort of tweets. Perhaps you can win. Use hashtag King of Rory and you can win it. As the American used to say, get off my property. <laughs> <laughs> fucking... <coughs> well. Backstabbed by friends, dude. Yep. It's almost like when you run into a castle wall, you feel backstabbed by your friends. Fucking Jesus. <gasps> I was thinking of Illuminati there. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, that could perhaps be true. I was like, oh shit. 
<laughs> Ubisoft actually constructed him this way. It's an elaborate prank on everybody. They they know he's the trash and they just want to be like, look how bad it is, by the way. We're not going to do anything about the, it. It's, it's, like, it's like one of the guys at Ubisoft were, were that sort of kid who was locked in, like backstab from his teammates or play, like classmates or whatever. Yeah, and He's like, let's create castles. going to be... <laughs> he's, he just runs around the map and just locks a cage people. on one of his teammates <laughs> and goes like, let's see how you handle this. What you gonna do now? All right, well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The two-minute mark has been on the uh, time clock, or on the clock. Here we go with the defense coming in from Sweden. Once again, Norway, I'm not sure how they want to play this. We've seen uh, at least a pretty... Uh, Pretty aggressive Norway as well. It's just that they uh, they drone for each other. They do. Like they we saw it. Uh, saw what happened. They started droning. Uh, L18 came with a very aggressive. Would have been an excellent push if it wasn't for that drone. Because they instantly started to back off from stairs, spraying down the stairs in order to make sure that he could not push any further, and that denied them the kill. However, if they wouldn't have been droning at that point, I'm pretty damn sure that L18 would have gotten like at least two kills from just that alone. Yep, and here we go with a good beat coming in from Lars. Should be able to get that frag now, being able to connect shots. It's gonna force him uh, to another position, trying to open up all oh, this. is actually pretty good. If he goes in for the peak, they would say. It's very interesting oh, to see how they're not on. moving oh, more from on. below. They're not as panicked as they're supposed to be at this point. And it's either very good confidence, or it's like, I don't actually know how dangerous it is about me right now. Yeah, you know, it comes down to that. Now, though, it's 46-7. Uh, 46-7. Yep, it's 42 seconds left. Vidalan has found at least one of the kills. Oh, here we go with aggressive bandit. Going in for the sneaky peek here. Should be able to get the frag. And it doesn't connect the shot. Well, it actually connects the shot. Not enough damage, though. Takes him down to low HP. Julia Fisk will be going down. Milan finds that frag. It's going to be a four-on-three situation in favor for Sweden at this point. But if you take a look at the HP on bandits, yep, there we go. Blackout finds a... Make sure that Spoit gets blacked out. And Milan, a lot of frags going down. Now it's all down to Ivana. Finds one of them at least. It creates this one-on-one -on -one situation. But if you take a look at the HP as well, this is all in favor of Endurance. But if you take a look at the time, well, that is in favor for Sweden. Let's try and go in for the defense. Here we go with the attack. Ivana trying to go in aggressively. Oh, oh my god. That was the final second. It was. The timer actually ran out to zero. I was going to say, she doesn't have the diffuser, so she really needs to push this in order to survive. And Holy very, shit. very fortunately finds the kill that she needs in this, like, really very last, last second. second yeah. Literally. Well, that is going to be the case. And then Torrance Gaming picking up their uh, second round, going over to the defense at this point. Oh, my. Oh, oh. Now we are going to see... Okay, okay, I'm just gonna let Luba really? lose here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him lose here. I go. mean, this would be amazing. Is this the way to counter Sweden? They're all, oh, come on, nah, ah, boo. Okay, okay, kind of fine. We're, we're seeing a lot of the, no, what, what are you doing? We're seeing a lot of roamers. I want to see even more roamers. Keep that, goddamn, keep that Carrera. That would have been so spicy, so spicy. Because we see Sweden going in very aggressively with not a lot of information. Maybe that would have been like the perfect counter to just handle Sweden. Get one of them that kind of pushes a little bit too far from their team early. Get the interrogation and then just use the rest of the roamers in order to hunt them down. That might have been such a good strategy. I'm so bummed out that Endurance didn't go for it. This would could have been so cool, man. Yeah, but that was not the case at this point. But uh, perhaps Ooh. listening to the bots and uh, seeing that a little bit later. But here we go with it. Is Spoit has been... Wasn't it Spoit in Season 1 who had a lot of problem with he his did. internet? He yeah. Did. Unfortunately, but we, Spoit, you need to fix yeah. that, man. Five fix that. But it doesn't matter. I think he is not allowed to. Uh, I mean, he can join in again, I yeah. assume. But uh, he's not going to be able to play the round, which is going to already now give an advantage for Endurance Gaming. And something we've seen so far is the attacking side for both of the teams has been the winner rounds. Yeah, multiple rounds have just gone straight to the attack. It's, and something that was very interesting last season though was that it seemed like whenever Spoit is connected, Sweden kind of got of this really yeah. big ego boost as well though. Oh, that shit, they were just like, true. oh yeah. my god, it disconnected. Now we need to win this round just to prove that we can win 4v5. For Spoit! <laughs> so it's just, it's just going to be, mm, it's going to be interesting to see how they go in. A lot of droning here though. Still droning for themselves. going to be interesting to see if he spots the player in the corner. Oh, of course he's. Is he going to choose to push now though? Very quickly after as soon as... Yeah, he... 
Seems like it blackout though with a shotgun. Oh no, he's backing off. Ah, that's so sad. Would have been amazing if he took that battle in tunnel. It's gonna back out though. Gonna be safe though from this Ying Candela candles. Julia Fisk with a very, very far away roam at the moment. This could be good though. Coming up from the behind. I mean, this could uh, Lars is in the same uh, in the same spot though so this could really work out yeah there we go and it's gonna be the diffuser as well so we're not in a good spot right now as we can see vigil still the pixel peak here just to get some sort of issue oh my god he downs him goes in for a second one finds the frag as well now i'm not sure if he saw that he was down no he didn't down any he got the shield and then he he dropped blackbeard dropped instantly okay, okay, as soon okay. as he started getting shot but he he got the first shield which is very important as well so now blackbeard only has one no zero shields to work with actually which makes him a more normal operator now with a very strong gun instead so now blackbeard no longer has that very strong peaking potential where you can no longer headshot him and it's very very important for the endurance gaming to actually have that gun large p though picking up the one it's now one versus four no. it's gonna be so hard for LAT. i mean especially that point when you drop the diffuser in that sort of position i mean it's so tough to recover it yeah uh and there we go okay lars running straight into the crosshair there and uh at this point obviously i think uh late or l18 oh my god though that gives away the position of the smoke so now l18 might be a little bit more comfortable knowing where the rest of the team might be so we might That's actually just see one player though it is just one player but it's still one of the more important players and but it, it, yeah but uh, just my thoughts is that uh, he saw smoke definitely i, I agree with you he, he gets the information about that but smoke is also an anchor smoke is an anchor that's true so that's true. The other two players could be literally everywhere uh, or anywhere. But I guess we are going to go in for a re-host. I'm not sure. I haven't really heard from uh, the yeah, team we are. yet. The, yes, we, Here are. we go. Here we so go. Uh, no First way. Point. No First way. Point. Three two. Uh, three two though. Three two. Three two. And Norway. As as I was pointing out, we've seen the attacking side from both of the teams. That's when they won the round. Now that Spoit unfortunately got some internet issue. I'm assuming. Um, Perhaps now that Norway has defensive side coming into the attacking side, how can it go? Uh, it could definitely go to a 4-2-2 here. And we've seen a really strong Norway coming back with a lot of good droning in-game, but also we've seen some of the star players from Norway just doing exactly what they're supposed to do, picking it up very quickly. Oh, apparently they keep oh, playing with pro playing. Okay. Some unfortunate, something unfortunate <coughs> probably happened to Spoit. They can no longer continue with five players and instead they're just going to continue playing with four. So now we're going to see a completely different matchup. Uh, and I wonder how they will adapt it. Because now you kind of lose one of the, either one of the roamers or one of the anchors. And this might actually be healthy for in one way for Sweden to kind of force at least two players to stay back all the time in order to have a more... Uh, equal lineup and that might actually make him win around him like from what I can see going on here that they start playing a little bit more slow a little bit more defensive and just drone out and get more information because they can no longer throw bodies at Norway until they win oh beautiful play there not being able to connect the shots either way Doc has been given away his position goes down to very low HP one single bullet left and I think he is gonna go down but uh, well, lucky enough, he is the doc and he can fix himself with just some adrenaline uh, shots there, I'm assuming. But there we go with Doka Base uh, calling everyone saying, hello, would you like to be my friend? Tell me exactly where you are and I will be there in a short second with my good friends. <coughs> what you going to do about it? Here we go. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit sad that uh, Spoit wasn't able to reconnect, but uh, hopefully that is gonna make Sweden stronger, as you were pointing it out as well. Milan finds the first frag though. Lars is going down, so that is uh, at least a start. But the question is, we've still seen Endurance Gaming on the attacking side being very confident. But one thing that can go really, really bad now for Endurance Gaming, for example, is that they're gonna be like, you know what? Oh, there we go. Quilly Fisk through the smoke gets fragged. They go, uh, get down. But something that Endurance Gaming perhaps are thinking right now is that, okay, this is going to get easier because they're missing one people. So we could just basically walk in. But because right now Sweden is doing a pretty one hell of a defense, to be honest with you. Yeah, and I'd, I really hope that they're now taking all of the time that they need in order to just confirm all of the strategies 
that they kind of have to run with. And then we see two of the Norwegian players kind of being very far off site compared to where the rest of their team was. We had two people almost on roof. Hibana wasn't completely on the roof, but she was very close together with the Ash. And the rest of the people just went into site and died almost immediately. And that's very weird since they're kind of playing the new meta where you're going with both the the Okabe and the Lion and you kind of want to force at least two or three players in and you have your two three speeds being the ones that is defensive back it's n it's not really the most common way to play this stack oh, oh my, my god. god be the line with an excellent shot here going for two kills at the same time that just made them equalize the scoreline 4v5 I'm not sure what I'm not sure what to say about this me neither I mean, I mean sure <sighs> Overconfidence or underconfidence? One of them is the key here, and I think yeah, it's, definitely. I think it's a little bit of a mix of both. I think that Norway kind of overestimated how much uh, Spoit was carrying the team, maybe, and they were just like, "Oh no, it's it's one guy gone," or maybe not carrying. My bad, but like, "Oh, it's not no longer five v five, so we can just rush in." Like you said, got instantly punished because lo and behold, Sweden still has four players on the map, and now I really hope to see Sweden that plays it slow, since they can't really trade equally in trade frag yeah that is going to be the question because this is going to be a very important round and if sweden can manage to get this round well they at least secure the overtime if we take a look at here Traco not performing at all at this point but uh not to take anything away from him we do have milan and vitaline performing really well with this team obviously l18 has been uh a little bit of a little bit of a not support player i would say but he's been that uh, informative guy in my uh, at least from my point of view um, but here we go once again ladies and gentlemen it's gonna be Sweden on the attack only four players if you're new into the stream we do have some giveaways obviously on our Twitter go in follow us on Twitter and send a tweet to us your best tweet using hashtag King of Nordic and you can win a mouse pad and uh, obviously on in the chat right now all you need to do exclamation mark raffle to win 600 rainbow 6 each credits and and we are going to draw two winners for that. So, the, okay, smart, smart. Yeah, idiot. Uh, all right, so here we go. <laughs> the the, <laughs> the push are coming in. It's going to be a four on five. Once again, you wanted them to play a little bit lo uh, slower. Uh, perhaps that's exactly what we're going to see now. Interesting, too. This is something that I've seen both Milan and uh, L18 doing, though. They're kind of playing a little bit of a solo game. And now we see, though, L18 and Milan droning out for Traco. I would like it to be Traco and L18 droning out from Milan. Because even though Trek is an amazing player, he's currently playing one of those support characters that really needs to open a wall. Oh no, they're actually droning out so he can open the wall. Excellently played. I thought he would go much deeper in and try to frag. But instead we see them opening up the wall here now. L18 instantly droning after, giving all, all the information he needs to Trek on. Now we see this slower sort of Swedish team droning out the whole site before going in there. And I really hope that we see a very beautiful exec execution here from Milo. Yeah, this is actually very smart, and if they can continue like that, oh, that is a good frag from Blackout, though. Really fast reaction, even though there was the lion scream right there. And here we go with some flashes coming in. Blackout finds the second frag as well into the round. Jin comes in, Blitzkulia Fisk is there to back him up. And now it's all down to Thermite, Traco. The guy with only one kill, perhaps he's gonna pick up and get six frags after this round. It's gonna be a tough task, definitely, but is it possible? Yeah, for sure. He gets at least one of them. He goes down to half HP, not being able to recover himself, obviously. He's not playing the dock, and he's not on the defense either. So going in for the sort of uh, pre-fire, not being able to do that. And it's going to be match point for Endurance Gaming. Now, though, very, very important round if we want to see congratulations in the playoffs. Well, then it's going to be on the defense side because now it's going to be five Norwegian players not underestimating the four Swedish players that are playing on the defense now. Very interesting to see. We see Rook and Ella coming out here. Both not really meta. Uh, not sure if it's uh, some plan behind this or if it's a tilt. There might just be that they now want to play two characters that can take as much punch as possible to kind of compensate for one player being missing. So they give that armor, they give that... Um, extra health or healing that you can get oh, from Doc true. in order to just like be able to take those extra trade punches uh, versus Norway so that they still can come out on top. Yeah, here we go, Traco uh, giving out the armor and uh, we do have the Vigil. At this point we're not gonna have a Mira either so 
the drones now during the uh, setup phase here is gonna give the information that you know what they're not gonna play a mirror at this point we could perhaps just go rushing in or whatever we can do I think Sweden has a plan here I, I believe so it I think it's a smart plan as well that's the thing I think we're gonna see both uh, both Rook and Doc holding one side each being more of a roamer uh, not roamer anchor uh, however do we see them roam around which made me very confused uh, instead yeah, of seeing could be reinforcements could be I mean they can go back I guess no they're not gonna do that they're, they're not, not sure yeah. oh, okay they're going for it oh they're going for spawn uh yeah okay so they, they, they are going to go for a little bit of spawn peaks in order with these acogs and this very accurate gun in order to kind of even it out as early as possible in the rounds and that might have been why they chose both the rook and the dock here yeah not only that but vigil has fallen down black elf will be going down as well so that's the hibana gone but they still have glass they still have the lion that comes in right here rook only finally gets to stop but well, doc he wants to move there we go, finally he can't do that. There is one player in the team who has not picked up armor. Uh, is there two armors left? There's two, There's armors, two left. armors left. I think it's a dock. It might have been the dock or it might have also been the uh, now, ba Vigil uh, since he was roaming so Oh uh, yeah, far that's true. Armor. Yeah, yeah, that's true. The remaining ones. Oh, oh my god. And Kulefis finds that frag. It's going to be a 2 on 4 situation and this could be bad. It's going to be the two anchors per se is going to be the one trying to defend and it's the match point for endurance gaming perhaps this is going to be the norwegian team going forward uh being the first norwegian team to go forward into the playoffs and here we go with the diffuser being planted it's all down to these two guys to do whatever they can and uh, accurate weapons you did you did mention accurate weapons is it going to be enough well that is the question it takes a lot of hits goes down immediately uh, Eventually, Draco types GG, Draco leaves the server, and Vitaline's gonna try to fight for his life. Not being able to do that, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be GG, and it's gonna be Endurance Gaming moving on to the playoffs. Yeah, and once again, a little bit unfortunate for Sweden, they're dropping one player, but I think that the most important thing to take away here is that um, they have lost the teamwork that they had before. Yeah, uh, well, I wouldn't really say teamwork. I, I kind of see the teamwork still being a part of them. The only thing that I can't really see is the leadership. Yeah. that That's the thing. That's what well, I'm... The team uh, synergy then, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, better they, way to they put don't it. have that leader that can tell you, man, like, goddamn, fix your shit. Because now we need to set up. We need to do our thing. Because um, I can still see that. You, I mean, we saw the pra practical example. I mean, they, they, they scouted out to get into the room. Traco opened up the wall. They, he started started droning around while the rest started to move in. So, I mean, their teamwork is there. Someone just needs to take command of it. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it. Congratulations. Lost against Endurance Gaming after unfortunate uh, leaving from Spoit, who has some um, uh, internet issues. Uh, so, these are the two teams that is going to the playoffs. Greek Gods, GG, Endurance Gaming. Let's, uh, let's, let's... Let the Louvre loose a little bit on these two teams. What are, what, what are they going to do? What can you give them to practice on to the playoffs? I think that Endurance was playing really well here. They they did a lot of information games. They seem to have adapted very strongly into the meta, but I would like to see them pick up a few new operators maybe, because um, they still seem kind of locked in whatever they feel comfortable with playing, so they don't always get the full meta or finding out a new meta. Mm -hmm. For example, the Cav there would have been an would have been a really good pick against Sweden, I believe, because they mm. were splitting up when they were pushing, not always pushing with drones, and that could have given you one of the most free interrogations that we would have ever seen in this tournament. I so mean, far. Have, it, have that sort of roam, you mean, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, so, and uh, and um, uh, Greek gods, do you have anything to say to them? I mean, they did play really well walking through the qualifier, um, at least the national qualifier. I think they want to uh, structure their team a little bit different. Uh, they didn't really see the same sort of a droning that you might want to see from a very stable five stack. They were still giving a lot of information to each other and mm -hmm. playing really well with Definitely. the team. But I think that they need a strong in-game leader to have a very thought out direction and where they want to kind of push and plant. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you have that direction, then also use all of those players that played really well in the game, droning out 
perfectly in order to give the rest of their teammates the information. They then get a very nice path to go to clear out with the drones. And that makes it so that you have a much faster plant or push. And you also have a way more secure way to go for rest of the five players to go into the site. Yeah, that, yeah, that's actually a really good example. I mean, all of the teams practice a little bit more on to droning out. Just drone out for your teammates and everything because that uh, that is going to give you a lot of advantages. Even though it's just, you know, close corner, do it. I mean, it could save you a whole round. <coughs> but yeah, that is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to announce the winners. Uh, let's start with the raffle in the chat. So we, we get those done. Uh, so we're gonna pick two winners for the raffle in the chat and I'm not sure are we going to get the both of the winners at the same time or just one at each time One at a time. Okay, so the first winner of 600 rainbow six each credits is One in it vanity vanity TV vanity TV sorry TV that 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 TV that was the one fucking me up Yeah, it's almost like another TI. Yeah, so it's like vanity TTT vanity TV um, all right, congratulations. Hit us up with a whisper here on Twitch and we will send you the information and perhaps a code. Perhaps. They per did win. Yeah, per perhaps. Per perhaps. We maybe we take it ourselves. Maybe. But we do have hey. a second winner as well. And the second winner is... Going to be... Jinx Owl. Congratulations to you as well. I know Cromwell wants me to say it, so congratulations. And also, uh, also... Congratulations to them going past to the playoffs last uh, yeah last week yeah so I mean I love I love that I love that how you how you can go to the playoffs obviously you want to check out the stream to just perhaps see your opponents and how they're gonna play and how you can do that um, but I love that you guys support us here uh, you guys in the Rainbow Six Siege community uh, support us and our tournament it really we really appreciate it. Um, because you guys make this possible as well, together with Ubisoft, HyperX, and uh, obviously Samsung as well. So, um, obviously, I would like to thank everyone for watching. Uh, but Facebook, let's go for that one. The Facebook we, winner. Yes, we did have a live poll uh, in which you believe that you could vote. You, you can believe. believe that you could vote. You, you could can, vote. You could vote uh, for which team you believed is going to take the high seed winner. And the winner for that one is. You want to say it? Uh, I, I, mean, I guess it's Andreas Lövig Boy. Yeah, Lövig Boy. Lövig Boy. Uh, well, 600 Rainbow Six Siege credits and HyperX Fury XL Gaming Mousepad. Congratulations. Hit us up with a uh, Facebook PM and uh, we will give you all the information right there and perhaps a code. A no, I'm code. Just kidding. I'm not sure Another why I'm doing that. I actually, have, one. I actually have no idea why I do that. Um, all right. And for the best tweet, I really hope no, it's no, no, one no, with no, a no, castle. No, 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 I really no, hope. No, 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 no. <coughs> I mean, they, they already walled themselves off from winning this. Pun intended. Fuck you all. Um. <laughs> all right. The winner for the best tweet. And the, uh, let's see here before we mention it. HyperX Fury Large Gaming Mousepad is going to be I Love Your Tournament. Keep up the good work. It's going to be read through John Cisco. Congratulations to you. Send us. How does that work? It's the, uh, they, they need, need to, to follow, follow us, us in order for us to PM them. Yes. So, so follow us on uh, Twitter. And hopefully you did because that was one of the requirements. I mean, uh, if you want to win <clears throat> or get the prize well, that you want. Well, he needs to do that yeah. to, in order to win. So if he hasn't followed us yet, disqualification. Oh, yeah, damn, bro. I really hope you followed. Um, all right, guys, that is going to be it. Thank you so for much today. for jumping in. Krumbal was actually feeling, feeling a little bit uh, sick. Under the weather. Uh, Didn't you start this stream by saying that Krumbal was going to sit here not getting sick during the stream while you were sitting here coughing? It's not my fault. I mean, I'm I'm sick. I'm I'm getting requ Gave him props on everything. It was just like, here's my Cronwall. My bro, he's gonna sit here with me even though I'm sick. He's not gonna get sick. And oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, jinx that it, one. It ain't jinx my fault. that one. Na, 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 oh na, my. Na, na, na. Uh, well, well, now you're gonna get sick as well. At least mentally. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next week, same channel, same time. And four new teams. What? Oh, holy shit. Four new How teams. do you join? Yeah. That's something we need to bring up. Sorry, guys. Four new if teams. If you're from Norway, you go to Gamer.no. And if you're from Finland, Sweden, or Denmark, well, you go to Tournament.com. And in that order, you need to go into the Rainbow Six Siege Fleek. Yeah. I guess it's uh, called. I'm not sure. Yeah, under the tab there. Under, under the, the Rainbow tab. Six tab. 
Yep. Yeah. Ja uh, no, he said that. Uh, it's the tab, and then you type King of Nordic, yeah, King and of you Nordic. can find it. Uh, the three different uh, qualifiers, which is three different countries. Yeah. So they're regional. You can't join the other ones. So don't apply for the Swedish one if you're Finnish. I mean, you can, but you're not probably going to play. You're it. not allowed to play, though. Exactly. So yeah. All bumps right, guys. me out, bumps you out. Don't same do that. channel, same time, same game, four new teams, two Next casters, week. production, ESN Studio, Hyperx, Samsung, Ubisoft. Thank you, everybody. And yeah, same channel, same time. Next week. Dang. See you guys then. Take care, guys. Glenn. Me Simone. I'm Quentin, I'm 21. Joel, I'm 26. I usually play after work or whenever I get some free time, so whenever my friends are online. I try to play almost every night, so I think I have to keep a certain level. Before I start to play, I usually close the door and I give my time completely to the game. The only thing is that I close my PlayStation from the TV and then close my desk where my monitor is and where I always play. Prima di giocare mi preparo controllando l'acqua, spengo il cellulare, prendo le cuffie, prendo il pad. So I've got friends from all over, from Germany, France, Amsterdam, America, some even in Australia. And we all use Discord to get together. There's loads of servers up. I enjoy Roma City just because of the pure amount of ways you can approach situations. La coordinazione è fondamentale. Weil es ein taktisch etwas fordert. J'aime beaucoup le fait qu'il a mis à change tous les trois mois. Il mio operatore preferito è il Bandit, dal primo giorno che ho acceso il gioco ho scelto subito lui. J'aime beaucoup Blackburn avec son bouclier. Im Angriff ähm, bin ich eher so ein bisschen derjenige, der pusht so nach vorne, also das eignet sich Ash natürlich äh, super und Buck. Ash has got to be one of them to play, although in terms of sort of backstory and sort of design, I've got to say Sledge. Also erinnerungswürdige Momente sind natürlich, wenn man selber gut gespielt hat oder wenn man ein Ace gemacht hat oder sowas. Ne? È una quintupla di C4, fatta in una ranked, in una classificata, che non, non potevano crederci. Mes 800 heures de jeu, ça m'a franchement apporté beaucoup de choses. J'ai rencontré beaucoup de personnes. The community are outstanding. I love the Rainbow Six. Everyone is so committed to Rainbow Six as a whole. 